Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew After Dark Edition. Welcome back. Hello. <laughs> it's been a couple weeks. I feel weeks. like it's been a long time. A I don't think while. I've been on since the... Um, oh, the Homebrew Awards. Yeah. 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 But even before that, not a lot. Hey, Metal Lunar! Hey, Metal Lunar. We're like, is anybody out there? Yeah, it's an imp <laughs> it's a weird, uh, impromptu. Yeah, it's time. not a non scheduled after yeah. dark, so we don't expect many people to show up. But if they yes. notice we're on, all the better. Yes. Um, so, tonight on After Dark, we're going to be playing two games the brand new Raptor, which you have not played. Hey, Arena Foot. Hey, Arena Foot. Uh, you haven't played Raptor, yep. but we're also going to be, it, and, uh, yep. we're gonna be playing it for the patch score because the game was released with the promise of a patch mm. at a thousand points. Mm. Um, so a, we'll be playing that for the patch. So, you know, challenge accepted. Yeah. He yeah. needs more patches for his patch sash. I so do. We need um, to add more, more to that. And yeah. it is part of... A uh, high score competition as well. Oh, cool! It's part of the um, Vicelli's Homebrew. Let's see, High Score Club. Okay. Of week 18, 19, 18, 19 and twenty. Audio, video, out of sync. Let's. I swear I did it, but maybe not. I was playing around with things. We were having some issues with internets right before you started streaming. There we go. Better? Better? Better. Yeah, better? <laughs> hopefully. It should be. It's not better than echo, we're in big echo, trouble. Echo. No, hopefully no echoes. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's part of the high score club for week mm -hmm. 18, 19, 20, uh, along with Aardvark and Stratovox. Oh, cool. Aardvark, so, you're good at that. You yeah, should be... Uh, I'm not too bad at that. I could get pretty high scores. In. Yeah. Um, I don't know Stratovox. So. Um... Yeah, mm. things move around, fly around. It's a shooter, and they take away things on the right hand side. Okay. Um, so we may play those later because we have a. It's closer. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna watch myself here. Yeah. On the stream, because now you're making me paranoid about closer. <laughs> Closer's not good. Uh, so. I should be dead on. Let's see. One, two, three. Test, test, test. hear myself i'm gonna clap it it, it is a touch it off. is it is it is closer uh i'm gonna have to deal with that for now i think it's close nope. enough can you can you can you adjust it that is that really hard? is trial and error over oh. and over mm. and over so no, no okay no i cannot do that live do you have it set to what it's usually set to or do you have to play yeah it, it might be off because i've plugged everything in from when we did the Atari Homebrew Awards. So you took it all down and... And because if it's plugged into a different USB or plugged into d anything differently... But you did it with Darcy on Friday, so... Yeah, nobody complained, but... Yeah, yeah. but you, we've had some weird and internet problems. I did watch problems, it, too, so... and it seemed perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah. we had some internet So problems. I wonder if there's a delay or something going on there. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, and the second game we're going to be playing is Draconian, which Yay! is also for a high score competition. It's for... Different one? Uh, yeah, it is a different one. It's for the... Why don't I have this down? Why don't I have this written down? Let me open it up. Um, but I will show it on the screen. Mm -hmm. It is for the 2600 High Score Showdown Season 6 for March 6th to March 12th. Um, so that's what we will be playing for, okay. the high scores. But we'll talk more about that one when we get to it. Um, so let's actually just take a look at um actually let's talk about our vacation a little yeah, bit sure. and show a couple pictures yeah. but we can talk about it more as we're playing yeah we went on vacation after the atari homebrew awards That's right good time to uh hawaii specifically maui yeah which is the second island in the string of islands is it the second yeah you went and looked and oh it's the second oh, okay i i don't know yeah <laughs> It is the second. Um, mm. And so we took a bunch of photos. And we're going to show you a couple photos right now. Just because they were so cool and unique. And um, uh, James is pu pulling them up. Yeah, you talk. Yeah, no. Um, I mean, we did a bunch of things. We did a lot of the usual touristy things. 
one evening we went on like a catamaran, like a little two hour cruise, which wasn't specifically a whale watching cruise, but right now, yeah. um, around the Hawaiian islands, um, there's a, tends to be a massive migration of humpback whales and it's actually their like mating time. Yep. And there were so many whales um and tons jumping around going crazy reaching out of the water flapping their fins at us so, it was there you kind go. of amazing check out the uh yeah. whale jumping out of the water it's a humpback whale a humpback whale huge they're massive i mean we get it on the pacific coast here around bc we get a lot of orca and you, so you'll see orca pods sometimes yeah. uh, in the water i don't think i've seen anything as big as a humpback i know they also yeah migrate around bc yes. i've just never seen humpback whales but they were just there were tons of them there were mothers and babies and escorts and <laughs> yeah. like males chasing the women around and it was hilarious but um james caught some photos like look at look at this guy look at this guy he's <laughs> got like the barnacles barnacles on the <laughs> under his chin and this one was james put together of it actually breaching and flipping over in the water it yeah. was just amazing so there's the big we wanted to share our beautiful whale photos. Look at this dude. And the sunset. And the sunset. Yeah. yeah. So that's that was. We figured nice. we this would be a good good place to show them during an yeah. after dark. <laughs> um, and this is the boat we were. This yeah. is not the boat we're on, but it was the type of boat that we were on. Oh, Very beautiful, similar. big catamaran. kind of catamaran, and um, yeah. I don't think ours was as big as this one, but. Um, that one looks quite large. That one's a little bit bigger, a little bit yeah. more standing room. It, yeah. The standing room was kind of around, around the center. Around the center, yeah. It's very, very similar. But um, it was it, a lot How fun. long was the flight? Five hours? It was... Four to five, five. hours. It was five hours. It, it actually wasn't as long as I thought it was going to be. No. It's the middle of nowhere. It is the middle Hawaii. of the ocean. <laughs> how many coconut drinks? A very few. Not so many coconut drinks. I had one. I had quite a few Mai Tais, and you were particularly fond of the lava flows. Lava flows. It was delicious. It's yeah. like candy. It was like it's strawberry, so <laughs> like frozen strawberry with um, pina colada almost mixed together. Yeah. Yeah. So there were lots of there were lots of fancy drinks, but yeah. um, you show it? Yeah. it was very lovely. There you go. There's the boat. Yeah. I don't know if I showed it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My sub ended, but renew on Tuesday. Tuesday. Sure. All right. Sounds good. Sounds fair. And there was a rainbow the whole time. I know. While we were, were on, on the, the boat because it was like raining around here. You yeah. can see the streaks a bit. Um, so the rainbow was there the whole time. Uh -huh. uh, and we'll show more later. Mm. Yeah. But anyway, we just thought we'd throw that up. We just thought those whales were so cool. They were. So, so cool. So I want to thank all the subscribers yes. who are scrolling down beside Tanya's head. 8-Bit yes. Swami, Armscar, Coda, Atari Age, Big Dog, Susie, Brandt, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Canadian Tenor, Chalcedony Mao. That's a hard one. Chalcedon e Mao. Hmm? Could be New York. Chalcedo, New York Mao. Hmm. So many possibilities. Charles and Chuck, Charles Willen, Chive 5, Dionoid, Daryl 1970, Drex, All Dr. Mook House, Great Defender, Ground Troop, Johnny W. Carl G, Kentuckiana, Mike, Kev Kelly, Lauren TDZ, Marco Johannes, Mark Spacek, Metal Attire, Mick Muse, Mike Saul, Mick Mike Tao, Mike Mattel, Mike Littow, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strom, Neo Media, or Don Ekro, Backrat, Packrat, VG Coog, RC70, Render Ghost, Repentless, VG, Smitty V, Socrates, Spicer, S. Ramirez, <laughs> Toy Pig, uh, The Welshman, Tiki Dan, K Trek MD, and X Ken X. Too bad the sub doesn't work with Walmart Plus. <laughs> Getting a sub, Walmart Plus. Yeah, not Maybe they'll uh... join forces. Amazon, probably. Walmart, probably not. <laughs> no. They're pretty much direct competitors. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they both ship products. I don't think that's going to happen anytime probably soon. Probably not, yeah. Um. Yeah, so we're going to play Raptor. Let me bring up the website for oh. that and talk a little bit about that as it comes up. Because it was released uh, on... Friday after I think it was actually released on Saturday. Yes, after the stream on Friday. Really early in the morning Saturday. Gotcha. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Um, after the stream, so let's go to that. Um, so arms. We had an interview with Armscar Coder. Went really well. It was a lot of fun. I always mm -hmm. like talking with the developers mm -hmm. about their new games mm -hmm. and premiering them on the show. Um, so he posted it yesterday, early, early morning, in relative to us. Mm. 
4K game, really small, uh, packs a lot of fun in this small amount of um, space. And he says, Raptor is currently being featured in the 2600 High Score Club, along with some other great games as part of the High Score Club. Homebrew Weeks, I encourage you to post your scores over there as well, but be forewarned, those guys and gals are scoring professionals. Mm. And this is what we're playing for, really. Now that the manual is complete, my graphic designer will start working on a Raptor patch. So we don't know what the patch looks like yet. Mm. But for anyone who scores a thousand plus points and wants a patch, send me a photo of the game via an Atari P Age PM with whom and where the patch should be sent. Nice. Um, my hope is to start, start shipping the patches this summer. I plan to only distribute up to 100 patches, which is quite a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. And we're reser reserving some patches for non-emulation players until Raptor's O available physical form. Mm. So he has some... Um, I guess you have to show your cartridge and the score mm. to, for those uh, patches that are going to be held back. Makes sense. Uh, once patch design is complete, the cartridge labels and box design will follow. I'm also so thankful for discovering the Atari <laughs> community a few years back. Special thanks to James, uh, Zero Page Homebrew, and Darcy for debuting Raptor and Zero Page Homebrew yesterday. Nice. My main aim in developing Raptor was to give back to the community by creating something fun for everyone to enjoy. Hope this game fulfills that objective. Sure it will. And let me stop it. Go to the scoring thread. There we go. And here's the scoring thread. That's oh, big, our Vard. Yeah. Sixteen week sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Homebrews Ardvark. So this happens mm. from what's the dates? This ends March twenty seventh. So we're getting in really early. Yeah. And then my score during the show mm. on Friday was 806, which stood for a while until somebody named Jason Atari got the patch and <laughs> beat me. So you're uh, aiming for the 1,000. At least 1,000, nice. hopefully to regain my throne as the top <laughs> for however for long. For a little while at for least. For a tiny, yeah. tiny bit till nice. all these people practice and get better because they will beat me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so here are, where's our scores? There we go. And Darcy got 269. Um, so there's my score, 806. Mm -hmm. And there's Darcy's while we're doing the interview. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think that's all we need to know. So let's, uh, get playing okay. the game. And Excellent. you want to play first? Sure. Oh, it's up to you. If you want to give it a try and then take Maybe a break. I'll give it a try first. You're and then probably take more a likely break. to hit that thousand, but we'll um, see. Because there was the. the how long uh, was your 800 your first run at it? or? I think it was my second. Okay. Yeah, and I was okay. getting 700 before I, you know, mm. before it was revealed. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was, while I was practicing it and, and t testing it out. Uh, okay. That was Tanya's last score. Or first score, actually. Yeah, I guess so. It's the first time. Was it first time. or second? First is the second. first time I've played it, so. Yeah, no, it was my first score. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. So Ready. technically, I have played it, but I was just Kick playing Darcy's it right before the show. Your first game. Uh, just to get a feel for the um, the controls, so. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's get the video game sound going. Are we still oh, yeah. super delayed? Nope, no. Well, just out of sync. They, out of sync a little? The the video game would not be out of sync with itself, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily. Okay, so for those of you who didn't see Friday's show, uh, you are the guy at the top, and you're taking out... You're playing a simulation game, and you're taking out the... Uh, enemies that are going across the screen and you've got a laser that has a potential to overheat so you can see the overheating as the red bar in the bottom uh, left there so if you hold it down you can strafe but the heat goes up so you have to balance that you don't want to hold it down too long but it is easier strafing when they're in clumps. And this is the boss. He has a very uh, formidable weapon. 
but very little armor. Yeah. <laughs> but he uh, protects himself quite well with that. So I just got the blue power up, which means I can hold down without overheating. Without... For a, a defined period of time. So it, yes, and it counts that bar that down. Co counts down in blue, and then when it's gone, you're back to your normal yeah. overheating. Goes to red. Overheating. Yeah. Laser. And it's actually plutonium that helps you. And and uh, <laughs> Andrew says he looked it up and it's like a real thing. There's plutonium. Blue yeah. That's funny. And those guys zoom ahead. Yeah. Um, at at the starting worst. level two, they'll they'll their speed changes as they yeah. go along. Just that guy. Yeah. You want to take that guy out immediately. They tend to move the fastest anyway. So. And now that. No, you or you ran into it. Yeah. It's auto auto uh, overheat if you oh, goes again. Touch. Then there you go. The thing in the sky continues on after mm -hmm. it releases it. Very nice. And now it's always there. Oh, it's the same speed as that. So oh. for those of you in the chat, um, how has your couple of weeks been? The last little while. Hopefully not Fortress too bad. Fortress without us. Of course. <laughs> or, it's, or it's like we have so much free time now. Yeah, <laughs> we're not. We we're don't not have to watch the show. Sitting in front of Twitch all day. <laughs> <laughs> and you're immune to that sky sky sweeper. The sky sweeper. Oh, with it, are you? Yeah. When you're when, blue. When you're blue. Yeah. And there's also jammers that take away your crosshairs. Ones with kind of uh, spiky gray tops. Spiky gray tops. Oh Whoa! no no no! Oh, he got out. So you get. There's a countdown. It says five at the bottom. That's how many things you have available uh. to um, let through. Yeah. Oh, stop it! Oh, oh. I'm doing terrible. Watch him. Woof! And he does disappear if you don't get him. He'll disappear off the oh, left really? hand side of the Oh, really? And so you screen. get no no score for it? Yep, and you lose two. So the pink bars are regions that you cannot hit them in. Yeah. So the laser, the laser just, just does nothing. Does me. nothing. They have like some sort of an invisible shield. Yeah. Yeah. Jammer. Or something. Get those speedy guys. Oh immediately, yeah. Because they will zoom off your screen. Yeah. Marina Foot says, "Good to see Andrew still making games." Yep. Oh Doggone my gosh, It was yeah. such a good fun game and this one as well is this one is unbelievable it's very um has a feel of 80s activision mm -hmm. games they made a lot of amazing 4k games uh, it always comes on with his uh, oh i think that Yeah, you can good get him job. in one go. Yeah. Uh, if you're good. So now the pink area is moved, which makes it a little challenging. It means you're catching them before, oh. or you're catching them after. Give, give, give. Oh. There. Yeah. Can the blue get them in the pink? Uh oh yeah, I can actually. Yeah, can get anything anywhere. So the blue really, really does let you catch up. Oh, oh I'm gonna miss him. That's a double oh, click. Oh, you never told me about that. No. A double click? Yeah. You smack it hard twice, or? Uh, you just smack the uh, button twice. And it kills everything on the screen? Yeah, you get two of those. But if you do it, you don't get as many points at the end of the wave. Uh, but if yeah. you're in trouble, it's well worth it. Can you do it when you're Oh, God! <laughs> yeah, you can. You can do it any time. But it, once per level, or twice, twice the whole game? Level. Twice per level. Twice per level? Yeah. It's quite generous. Oh, it is generous. You get the bonus points. Oh, of course. Now he's put up his. Come on, out! Ah! Good job. And, uh, it's all timing. <laughs> on the right hand side, you see that brown flashing uh, mark there? That's how long in the wave you have, or how much power the boss has. How much um, more you have to do to the boss. So that's jamming the radar. Jamming. Let's 
especially dangerous um, with the protective areas because he'll zoom yeah. off the screen. And if you're not there, you've got to get ahead of him. Oof. You have... Oh, ah, watch it. Oh, ah, oh. It is quite hard with it flashing back and forth. It is. There are thin corridors that never get... Mm. Um, I wonder if this works on the portable. This seems like it would be a good game for the portable. I forget what they call it now. Atari. Atari Flashback Portable. Flashback, yeah. It's a four game game, so there's a very good chance, but there are s codes that it doesn't like, and some weirdnesses on the Flashback Portable that make a lot of games not compatible with it. Because it was not made 100% compatible, unfortunately. People have to tweak their games all the time to make it work. Of course, they work with like CDMJ games or anything like that. Oh god. Ah. Oof. Oof. Oh no. I'm gonna oh. Use it. I was gonna lose that guy. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, no. I had to do Last it. Last one, I think. Yeah. Of that level. Of that level. Then you get it back. Oh. Nice. Extra life. Ooh, it's Every hard. 200? It's hard to get the, the points up. It is. You only get one point for each of these guys, and there's 50 every level. Come on. 50, wow. Oh, God. Oh, oh, you were too, oh, late by... And you don't get the blue if you use it with your special bomb. Oh, really? You don't get those blue Yeah, guys. that makes sense. Because... These are great. Oh, my gosh. And they're random. So you may get zero, you may get four. It's like he's he's in the middle. He's in the middle. Uh, no. I don't know how you get him. Himself. You have to get him. I don't know when you get him. There. That's when you get him. Oof. Oh, he was just about to leave, I think. Was he? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's rough. Uh, is the cart label design yours or Andrew's? Uh, I mean, it's his based on graphics from his, the It's manual. his graphic. Basically. His graphic. Yeah. So I didn't do the design, I just plunked it in a cartridge, a fake cartridge. But I'm guessing it'll be close-ish to the actual... Ah! You, got you can't be so far to the left. You because... can't, because he jumps in really fast, doesn't he? Get I think those, those regions are even wider now. I think they are. They, like, they've they like cover grown. each other. Yes, they do. Yeah. Before there was a little space that you could get it. Yeah. No, there's no space. Wow. It's like he shut. Oh. He was following him. You actually have to dodge the yellow thing. Oh, good job. Oh, now it's the tough level. Staying longer. Oh. Got the blue thing before I press the double button. Out of them. Oh my goodness. Man! <laughs> Try not to disturb James oh, too much. I lost one. 
Everyone's okay. Yeah. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Come on. Are you hungry? Oh my goodness. Yes, he's hungry. Thank you, Arena Foot. You've made this cat a happy cat. Okay, yeah, we understand. <laughs> we understand. We, we understand. understand your concerns. <laughs> yes. Yes. Who's a good kitty? Yeah. You gonna hit it again? I'm a good kitty. No, no, you gotta uh. do a better job than that. Uh. <gasps> oh, good job. You have to hit it again, buddy. Oh my goodness. You've been, you've been, like, you've forgotten how to do it. Smack it harder than that. <laughs> On the top. <laughs> It's been so long. It's been so long. No one's given me treats in so long. He I knows. read his mind. Yeah. Well, it's a pretty simple mind to read. <laughs> yeah. It's basically Ooh. treats, 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 treats. Treats, 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 yeah, treats. Yeah, there you go. yeah. Oh, good God. Come on, come on, come on. But thank you very much, Arena. Come on, come on. Come on! Good kitty. Oh! oh. That's okay. You get two, right? Yep. Oh. Oh, just. Boss time. Did you hit it? It's a boss Did you hit it? Do you want another one? Did you hit it? You didn't hit it. No. Can you hit it? Hit the no, bell. No, I can't. He knows. He knows how to do it. Oh, so close. So close. So close. Oh, my God. Speedy McSpeedy. Good kitty. It's pushing me so far forward. They're slower, almost. What, a pink? There you pink. go. Good kitty. Thank you, Arena oh, Foot. Oh no. no! Do you have any more? Uh... Yeah, I've got two. You've got four left. Oh, good job. I don't like the four. No, not when you have the blue. Almost done. Oh! oh! Get it, get it, get it, get the blue, get it. Oh, there you go. Good job, good job, good job. Oh, you're so close. Careful, that guy's trailing the, the... Oh, good job. Because he goes at the same speed. I know. 1,000! <gasps> Pat, Pat churn! Woo! Pat. Ding, ding, ding! It's James's tree time! Oh. Pat churn. We Pat do churn. need a James's, a James's treat time. Treat bell. time, it's treat time. <laughs> Shall I throw some cat treats oh, in God. your mouth? <laughs> Terrible. You're doing good. You're doing good, though. Ah! <laughs> oh, no! Those guys who go fast. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Oh. I do like all the hazards. The areas that block themselves out. Oh, I think you got one through. I did. Oh, no. You have only one left. I know. Oh, so close. Oh, oh. More blues, please. More blues. <sighs> oh. Boss time. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh! Protecting himself. No! no! Come on, I haven't even had a chance to hit you. Oh. oh! You have to get him when he runs away. He's in the pink all the time. All the time. You have to get him when he runs I, away. I, That's what you did last time. Look, he's in the pink the whole <laughs> time. Ooh. Oh, oh no. That's it. That's it. You're done. Ten seventy one. I don't know if you beat the other guy, I did not but beat the other you guy. got the patch. Woo! I don't think I beat the other guy. 
I don't think he did. I think he had I, he was thousand like eighty. Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. <laughs> Jason Atari beat you. Ooh, I got the patch though. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Arena Foot. Thank you, Arena Foot. <laughs> ah, oh, is it my turn? Screenshot. Yeah. It is. <laughs> okay, I need a little bit more to drink because I find this uh, mildly uh, stressful. They're always <laughs> you think so? running away. <gasps> and he said he mm. wanted to make a continuous game, which it is. It, very little stoppages. Yeah, it is. It is. Mm -hmm. And it's couch <laughs> mm -hmm. Always a necessity. So is it a double hit? To yeah, double tap. There you go. Oh my goodness. No, it's level one. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's easy enough to you get more points by not doing it. So I think I can do better because I used a lot of them up early what how many points you get for not using it up oh you get up. points oh, okay yeah, that's fine i just uh, i wanted to try because i did not know that function was there, so. okay. 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 i do it does ramp up at a nice pace because the first level really isn't that hard Oh, uh, nice. What's happening? What do you mean? The raptor manual's gone nuts. Oh! <laughs> Flipping through itself. It's really strange. Let's open it up in a browser. There we go. It's gone now. Uh. Where is the point? Scoring! Uh, each unused boomerang bomb at the end of a convoy or at the end of the simulation is worth 10 points. So it's a little... It's, it's something. It's something. It's better to use it than to get those 10 points. Okay, so yeah, you get them. You get 10 points? Yeah, 10 extra points. Three quarters of the way. Yeah, he has to go to the left when that thing has to go to the right. Even a little bit will open it up. Mm -hmm. But if he follows at the same rate, you can't shoot him. Or it's harder to shoot him, because he has to be at a different rate. Then. Yeah, you have to keep your eye on the bottom and the top a little bit. Just when you're around it. Yeah. Yeah. You can hold it down. It doesn't matter, yeah. Just have to watch when it's not, when it's over. It's then you start working. That goes at the same rate as oh, the guy. I should use the thing. Yes, that would be the place. Even. I'll do it. Just in time. Tap tap. Oh, oh. come on. I have to the blue guy. There you go. Last away. Yeah, he's going to the right. It's hard to and avoid that thing because it's going up and down. So it's it is actually almost impossible. Is at the same uh, horizontal space. That's the... Thank you for following RH79123. Cool. It is a cool game. It is a super cool game. Very unusual. Oh, it's going to get in the way. Um, yeah, it's it's really smartly programmed using. Simple and the strengths of the Atari 2600 by keeping everything on its own horizontal plane and keeping and when it's not in its own horizontal plane keeping the everything else very very simple get that guy he's gonna go so your copter isn't in the same plane as the hills oh no Blue. Ah! Lose it now! <laughs> oh, you're losing things! 
Oh my god. That's terrible. Yeah, I, it could be turned into, uh, if somebody wanted to hack it into an alien abduction game. Oh. You can make the bottom things like cows going across the screen. <laughs> and you can make your guy into a UFO. Um, that would be cool. That'd be a good way to do it. Yeah. Yep. Cows going across the screen. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to get all the cows and take them into your uh, spaceship. Speedy guy, speedy guy nope. on the screen. Oh, speedy guy. Yes, a surprise after dark. Welcome, Charles Whelan. It's a surprise to me, too. I mean, I, I knew I wanted to do an after dark for this game because I wanted to get the patch and also participate in the high score competition. Uh, but I just didn't know when it was going to slot in, so I didn't want to schedule it. Sunday night seemed to be the night for the time to do it. Get the, oh, oh, get it! Oh, oh no! One left. Ah, uh, one left. Yep. Oh, yeah, no. you had a bad level. A couple. Yeah, I did. Oh, oh, you're gonna lose it. There's another blue to redeem you. There you go. Go nuts. Go nuts. Go nuts. Are you itchy over there? Itchy back. <laughs> This is not gonna end well. Need one of those rotating cow scratchers. Yeah, cow scratchers. You ever seen those? No. Oh, they. Oh, they scratch on their back. Yeah, they scratch the face and the back. Oh no! I think that was it. No. It's like a really stiff, round brush, like a car wash. It spins around. Some of them spin around. Some of them. Oh, oh Andrew Davy is here. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. I haven't had a chance to answer your... <laughs> I was paying oh, attention. No. no. That was oh. a bad start. No. No. Oh. oh, my God. You just got an extra life. That's what saved you there. At the end. Yeah, yeah, at the end of the last game. Andrew, I haven't had a chance to answer you back, unfortunately. I've been very busy catching up with things still from vacation. Oh, you got to get it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally hit, hit that twice. Oh! Oh my god. Oh no! That's the end. 4.42. Uh, I feel like I could do better, but that wasn't terrible. That wasn't terrible. No. Yeah. It's good. Is that better than your last score? Yeah. Yeah. You I was it. like only 300 and something. You made it last to one. Snake. Snake level! Very cool. Yeah, there's different Very cool. um, signifiers of different levels, and you get a little, a little, um, little symbol. A symbol for each at one. the end. So, so what are the levels according to the manual? They are. I want to know how well I did. Viper. Zero, zero to ninety nine is mantis, and then the next hundred is crab. Next hundred, two hundred. Two hundred uh, to three ninety nine is fox. Two hundred to three ninety nine. Four hundred to six ninety nine is viper. So I just kind of made the viper. Got yes. in. Got into the viper. Seven hundred to nine ninety nine is lion. Nice. And raptor is a thousand plus. And you got raptor. Which I got in my first game back. Excellent. So I'm going to give it another try and see if I can get to like 1100. Okay. And get to the top of the rankings. Give that other guy uh, something to shoot for. <laughs> Make him play again. <laughs> I think you can do it. Um, yeah, I made a bunch of mistakes early on using up of my double clicks. My isn't, the, isn't the name on the screen? Raptor. Yeah, oh, Andrew TV. Never mind. He's like, no idea what this is. Nice to see the game and then what the game's name is on the screen. But it oh. is on the screen, isn't it? Yeah. It is, under the cartridge. <laughs> no worries. Might be a bit difficult to make it out because it's like brown on brown or something. This is Armscar Co Coders. Latest. Yes, the same uh, developer who did Doggone It. Doggone It, yeah. Andrew Pauly. Andrew Pauly, yep. Oh! Oh my god. Super easy. <laughs> yep, some good design using limitations of the system. Yep. Very smart layout. All the all the enemies are, are on the on, lower, yeah. are on the lower, separated from you, and they all stay in their own path. 
means they don't cross over because the 2600 yes. does only does two um, player characters. Yep. And the crosshair is a player character. That makes sense. And yeah. the enemies are a player character. And you're a player character, but you don't, you don't cross over. Yes. And the boss is by, by itself. So you don't have to worry about more than one. I don't think the boss has two colors. He could have taken advantage of that. Oh, no, because you have your crosshair. Come on, turn around. Come on. Oops. Accidentally there. Now I have to contend with the Sky Sweeper. On this level, forward. Which makes the game very interesting. And the game progression and balance is really good. Like, it ramps up nicely. Like, for beginners. It doesn't feel um, like it's unfair at the beginning. I said the Sky Sweeper is a player character, too. No, we don't think it instantly. He wasn't sure. Oh, it does need to be, because at points, when the boss is on the screen, there's a Sky Sweeper and a... and his weapon at the same time. So yeah. there's two things in the sky. And the pink things are playfield. The mountains are playfield. Mm -hmm. Some of them could be player character. Nothing goes there at the same time. You don't need it to be. No reason. You seem to have a good... good grasp of the controls and the vertical positioning is that you have to kind of get a good feel for that to make sure you're only setting the laser off when it's directly above something god damn it i mean you mostly just look at your crosshairs you don't look yeah, at your it's true. positioning you the don't. only positioning well, that you, you look at is when the sky sweepers sky sky sweeper is there is that what it yeah the yeah. yellow the yeah. flashy yellow thing um i mean your relative positioning too oh i hate it Oh! What? Uh, we relate. Uh, <laughs> uh. At least you get two each round. Yeah. yeah. It is that very does help. Good so. I mean, if you really wanted to make it hard, you would you would reduce them to yeah. the point where you didn't have it. Oh no no no! Thanks. That's too hard. You almost use well, them up immediately in the high levels. I assume on the higher levels, nothing changes after a while. So. Uh. It, Past the raptor stage? You get stage? less um, blue things. Okay. And the enemies come out immediately after you shoot them. Oh, on the I see. There's so they're more frequent respawning enemies. kind of thing is yeah. more frequent. Yeah. Much Ooh, faster respawn. Andrew Davey. So he's putting some, throwing some suggestions. One yeah. of them is how about a night mode where everything is dark but lit up by the weaponry? I did suggest that and I think he had that suggestion from other beta testers as uh, well. Maybe only see the lights of the vehicles Ooh, rather than the whole... Well, not necessarily, but it would it would definitely look different. Hi, yep. I've got a princess but it, cat. But I think he ran out of space. Like, this is on the edge of having yeah. no space at all. The cat is on the pillow. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Doing your old tactics from last game. He knows. He knows where he's protected. Uh, Sometimes you're just on the edge of. of... Mm, mm, mm. There we go. Oh, kitty. Yeah, a night mode would be kitty. super, super, super cool. Like a very advanced levels. Is he sharp? He just bit me. I think he was didn't like the way I was. was, was Manhandling. Oh. He's licking my hands though, so I he gives very mixed signals. <laughs> <laughs> lick, lick, bite, bite, bite. Yeah. Lick, lick, lick. Bite, Are you bite. happy with me? Are you happy? No. I don't know. Both. You're purring the whole time. Purring I'm the whole both time. Both happy and mad. <laughs> yeah. And the sky sweeper sweeper moves the same. Oh, Even though there's a nice blue thing on the screen. Oh god. Get him. Ah! Sorry. Waste of points. Waste of 10 points. Oh, no. Oof. Recovery. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, no! 
Oh, you're good. Terrible. You're good now. Terrible! Mm. <laughs> he's moving along with his protective. <sighs> he knows. He knows where he's protected. Get a couple shots when there. when the two pink areas completely overlap each other, it's like I don't even know how you get him. It's I just couldn't. crazy. Last game, he stayed in the pink. He's just the completely whole time. tied into um, being protected, which is what I would do if I was on a land vehicle being First. shot at from the from the sky. But um, but they have the game has no AI at all. He said. Oh, it's and it's just same. patterns. It's, yep. Yeah, that all makes sense. patterns which resemble AI. Yeah. <laughs> so so the is there any randomness in how the? Um, oh God! I'm not gonna win this game. <laughs> not gonna get much score. Oh, I missed it. Oof. Oh God! Terrible. I'm playing terrible. I always find my brain is brain is freshest in like the first round sometimes and then you never do quite as well as that f the first or the second round of play yep it's funny how that is or you start overthinking things you do you know your strategy you're like maybe i should try this maybe this will work better instead of just no 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 again. oh no i did have one left oh i'm almost dead at 584 you do get one back every round, right? Every 200 points. Every 200 points? That's not terrible. Protecting himself again. Come on. Yep, and... Oh, no, no, there is a gap. There is a gap. It's very brief, but there is a gap. There. It gets smaller and smaller until there's no gap. Bastard! There you go. Yay, an extra guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, better than no extra guy. Just need two more um, bombs. Yep. Yep. About eleven seconds. Uh, it feels very random, but do they come out after? Uh, the, do their does their return time with your? destroying them on the screen or is it random or is it just always it is follow, random. following the same pattern it's it's random it is random how they come out yes the this time between respawning reduces as you go on as, as the game goes on until after a thousand points there's almost no respawn time Skillful. It was lucky. Risky but the skillful. The timing, <laughs> the timing of the blue guy was 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 lucky as well. Oh, the I'm timing of the blue guy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was. He's like, no, it's not luck, it's skill. Uh, it was I'm all like, skill. Woo! You don't need to get so defensive. <laughs> <laughs> I meant the timing of the blue guy. Who got the patch? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get the patch. I got the patch. No. <laughs> oh, come on. I hope we got any hits on him. There. Oh. Ah! Who's gonna get away? Oh, he's leaving! Nope. Oh! Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Mm, mm. Got, got your gonna, bombs back. I'm gonna get a thousand. I just don't have the extra... extra leeway. Just hope for lots of blue ones. Yeah. They are random, you said. Um, not... They get less and less as time goes on. There's another blue guy. Oh, no! Oh, oh no! I can get it. Oh, yeah. Just good. in time. Off the edge. Yeah, till the. Oh, oh. At least you do get the edges. I'll always get the edges. Oh no! I should have double clicked. Oh no. 750, 760, oh, 770. Some gradated color in the land might give it a better 3D impression. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like different colors of yellow. Yeah. Like to brown to yellow mm -hmm. gradation. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's true. But at the same time, 
the characters aren't different um, sizes. Yeah. So that might throw off the illusion of um, depth. Uh, you get one more. One more. Yep, one more for Are you. Are you gonna play Atari? Atari's gonna be my lap pillow. Uh, Is this gonna work? No. Is this gonna work, little guy? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. No. No. Should I take him? You might have to. Princess? It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. <laughs> no. Princess cat. This is not the best way to play with a joystick control. <laughs> no. Like holding it up in the air, I mean. <laughs> no, that's that's not the best way. Uh, I need something to put my feet on. Um, I've got the chair. I could and slide the chair you, over. If you pull out the table, or is that gonna be in the way? So I can put my feet on it. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Being, I'm being the princess right now. I need a footstool. Can you give me a footstool? that far forward but that's fine oh, i didn't know no that's, there you go that's okay it's all good thank you thank you you're welcome princess princess footstool <laughs> princess footstool yeah is that a princess toadstool uh, yeah yeah okay more tales from maui oh maui there we went to a beach uh there were supposed to be turtles there so we had bought um, snorkel equipment before oh, we went God, yeah. to go snorkeling. Yeah. Um, so we went to a beach. It's supposed to have lots of turtles. Turtles on the beach. Turtles in the water. We weren't really sure. Well, I don't know about on the beach, but well, turtles somewhere. Uh, at least snorkeling turtles. Uh, so we got there. It looked. It was a very nice beach. Um, it had like a pretty good depth to it. Um, and then it kind of had a riser. Like a big dune of, not big, but you know, like four foot dune of sand, and, and another a little bit more beach up up top where we were laying down, put the blankets down, um, and the water wasn't bad. We got in it; it was warm. Yeah. But it was in quite quite forceful, let's say. The oh, the, the forceful. waves they went from fairly calm. Yeah. To forceful, and it would. Yeah do a pattern of that over yeah. and over again and there was a boat uh, just like the boat we went on um, like a catamaran catamaran unloading and it took I would say half an hour to four unload. or five tries to unload all the people on the boat because they would have to come in when the waves were not so bad quick 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 unload 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 and they get like three or four people unloaded yeah and then it, it got crazy and then they had to float it out to sea again because it was way too crazy. Oh, it was it was pretty funny actually. And so it took them a long time. Only bits and pieces of people going out. Um, but we wanted to use our snorkeling equipment and look for turtles. Well, we just thought we'd give it a try. Yeah. And so we went out and put on the snorkels and was like, the, the the sand is all in the water. You can barely see anything. Snorkels didn't work, but we wanted to, you know, just swim a bit, play around, and um, and the waves were, you know, about three foot high. They were okay to start with. We we're kind of jumping and and jumping over the, jumping the worst the waves, waves and, and it was fine. Yeah. And I would try to like swim with the waves, uh, body surf, oh. and uh, I didn't work well the body surfing um, um and then it the tide must have been coming in it was coming in because it got higher the waves got higher and higher and we were able to kind of jump over it and our heads would be above it and then we had to go out further than the waves because you could if you get past the waves where they crested it was kind of just like this and you could go with the water yeah. up and down with the water but if you're past them and the, it was cresting it would just bowl you over and then it got to a point where the waves are about like 
12 foot high. Oh, yeah. And then we got totally tossed around in the surf. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like dangerously. 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 Like, smashed <sighs> against the bottom of the ocean onto the oh, sand. yeah. Smashed to my back. Yeah. Covered in sand. Twice. So Twice. Our, yeah. <laughs> so when we got out, we were head to toe covered in sand because the sand was mixed in with the salt water which also mixed in with our sunscreen so all the sand was sticking to us all over our bodies and our hair was full of sand yeah it was crazy it was terrible oh my gosh it's so slow to to, to retract yeah. it's actually not that slow just when you're trying to do things yeah you're like ah quit overheating no, like the overheating. I mean, yeah, coming for down. For it to come down. Yeah. Oh, free. Blue. Um. Yeah. So it took a couple days to get all the sand out of our. Oh, ah. Out of our hair. Oh, it was crazy. I've like, never been that sandy. I've never been that sandy in my life. <laughs> Oh, you got him. Hello, Adam H. Hey. Welcome to an After Dark Unscheduled, where we play for scores. Usually, that's what we do. Almost always we play for scores. It's dark. true. Yeah. And in this one, we're going for a patch score for this brand new game, Raptor just about to fire. I think he was. And the patch score is a thousand. <laughs> right over. Oh no. Oh no. Devil, devil. Oh, you Too let light. one go. Uh, that's not good. Devil, oh! devil. Quick. Ah. Ah, two right at the same time. 450. Uh, that better slightly than last time? better. Just well, 460. Slightly. slightly, just slightly. Because you didn't use one up. So you got 10 points. True. Before I died. Yeah. True, yeah. true. So should I do another one or should I? No. I say let's move on. Yeah. You you got your patch score. Got so my that's patch. Good. Still yeah. in second place though, which is a little sad. Yeah. But maybe I'll try it again try it later again. in the month. Do you want to give it another no, shot? No, not right now. I think I've, I'm tapped out All on right. that. Yeah. You got your patch though. So that's what's... Yeah. Uh... Uh, so let's show some more pictures. Just a couple more pictures of the volcano we went to. Yeah. <laughs> we went to a volcano. Yeah. Um, it's the volc the main volcano. Do you remember the name of it? Haleakala. Haleakala. Haleakala uh, Crater, uh, which is sort of a dormant volcano. Yep. Um, oh. <laughs> So there's the volcano in the background. Yeah, it's well, it's yes, yeah, the crater in the background, crater. and you can kind of see we're so high up, we're above the, the cloud line. Yeah. So it gives this eerie look, almost like there's an ocean of clouds. Yes. You're above the ocean of clouds, yes. which is it really really cool. Freaky, in fact. Actually. It is, <laughs> especially driving, because you were saying you you just see like you you feel like you're driving in a plane. Yes. Because you look out the windows and you just see clouds everywhere. So what are you standing on there? That's the observatory. There's, Not the observatory. There's a the visitor center visitor at the top. Center. Yeah. And uh, it was it was closed at the time we were there. It's just yeah. a small building. So it was like open for two um, Because it's a national park. So yeah. um, um, They have an observatory there where because it's so high up and so far away from any light sources from a city. Yeah. Um, and it's above the clouds. It's so good for uh, observing uh, the universe. Yeah. Um, it's not as good as another one on the main island, I read. Oh, but really? But it's like second. Second second best on Hawaii. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can't go there, which is a shame. No. They say it's completely like walled off from other people. And, and it's, when it's you're an driving... It's an active research lab, so... And when you're driving, you it says you have to turn off your headlights when you drive at night. Yeah, you can't actually approach it. <laughs> so, it's, so there's some zoom cool. ups of the uh, volcanic cones. Yes, and that's a, a huge, um, you can see it in the background there, it's a huge hiking trail if you want to hike all oh, the way yeah, in. Oh, you can see the um, there's, There is a hiking, hiking path and a hiking trail you can take. 
and that is also um, that is at the one of the summits of one of the little peaks that that's there. Yeah, there's and, a uh, wider shot. Yeah, where you can pretty much see almost all of yeah. the crater. And so you're basically seeing cloud and ocean in the background yeah. there. The it's blue amazing. is the ocean and the sky and the curvature of the earth. No, no, but, uh, the curvature of the lens. That's but, the lens. Uh, <laughs> we did try and look it's for the really curvature cool, of though. the earth, but yeah. it's, we're not high enough. No. <laughs> it was pretty cool. There's another shot. Yeah. Uh, people free. <laughs> yeah, and shockingly. We, and then we walk down a little bit, and there's... Uh, yeah, we, we did follow down. the trail a little ways down so we could get a better look. That's about halfway down. Uh, we did not, by any means, do the full hiking trail. You can actually hike in and stay at cabins, yeah. like, in the middle of the crater if you really want to. And that's almost to the end of where we hiked. See those little tiny yes. people in the... Yes, in the background, we hiked, kind of went to the, to that point, yeah. yeah. There's some but greenery. it was really beautiful. And it was quite, well, it's, it's, it's Hawaii, um, so it is fairly warm, but it's quite a bit cooler when you go up there, so. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's the extent of where we walked, actually. Yes, yeah. that was the edge, yeah. And you can see the sea of clouds. It's amazing. And then the sea. Yeah. And then we went up to nearer to the observatory. To the you can see those summit. cars there. Yeah. Are, was where we were just. Yeah, where we there. started. Um, our hiking point and oh. then we went up to the summit which is right next to where the observatory is yeah and watch and the sunset uh, with, with yeah. a ton of other people yeah and there's the sun going down and amongst the ocean of clouds yeah we're, again we're it, above the clouds this is ten thousand feet yeah um not the highest point in hawaii but, but pretty, very close Thirteen thousand feet is the highest point pretty in hawaii. bloody high yeah but it's this is the tallest mountain in the world if you consider it's base under the ocean yeah, from, they say its actual height is the tallest. bottom bottom if you drain the oceans this is the tallest mountain yeah. in the world but which you know <laughs> yeah. some people consider that I, I, yeah. part of the height yeah. but anyway yeah they like to everyone likes to find a way to there's make nice, them the tallest yeah. right yeah there's nice optical illusion <laughs> of the sun being split off with the, oh, with the, the atmosphere or yeah. the, the cloud reflections i'm not sure which one which but maybe both yeah um the sun setting beneath the clouds yeah <laughs> so and then there's the there's observatory, the observatory. Yeah. yeah in yeah, the i think that was the last one that yeah. is yeah yeah it was pretty nice oh amazing anyway we just yeah. wanted to, to show a few of the the nice nice photos so yeah, yeah. so now we're going to play draconian because it is part actually we're going to sh i'll show you the the uh contest a high score, 2600 high score showdown. Uh, let me show that on the screen. One second. Since your internet connection was restored, did it go down? Yeah, when we were doing that before. When we were. Oh, with okay, it. okay. Sorry, That's I thought old that news. was. I thought that was new news. I'm like, oh old no. Old news. Yeah. Did have not dropped a frame. Good. Very, very Good. Happy. Just, just double checking. Okay, so. This is on the Atari Age forums. 2600 High Score Showdown Season 6 featuring Draconian Atari 2600. So it starts today. Mm. So not many scores yet. Mm -hmm. And ends in a week, or at least March 12th. I guess that's a week. So default mm. game settings, BB. Um, and I think the highest score so far is higher than I think I can get. Uh, it is three ninety nine five sixty. But wow. I'll give it, uh, yeah. give it a shot. Yeah. Stephen Jones, Stephen Jones. Here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the second highest is two forty seven four thirty, which I, I think I can get that. Okay. Yeah. A lard, a lard, a lard, a lard. At R E X plus. Ready. I'm gonna pass this to you. Oh, and grab myself okay. another drink. So no, I, good I timing. Would, actually, I have, I don't need another drink. You don't need All my drink? ice melted, so. Oh. You can drink ice. Mm -hmm. So normal like quadra day, level normal, everything. Start from the beginning. Yep. Uh, so this is uh, one of my favorite, if not my favorite shooters on the 2600. Yeah. And in general, too. And, and in, in the, the arcade. arcade. If I you love If it you're in, in an arcade and you're wondering where James is, probably... Near Draconian. Possibly... Or Bosconian. Or... Uh, Satan's Hollow. Yeah. Or also... The one where you spin in a circle. 
Gyrus mm. as well. Mm. Yep. Or Sans. Now, since we're going to score, we're going to be showing all these. Oh, all them, all them, yeah. So, for those in the chat, if you find yourself in an a arcade with a wonderful selection of games to choose from, what are you most likely... Oh, Jesus. What are you most likely to spend all your time on? What, what arcade machine are you most likely to spend most of your time in front of? Mm. I don't know. Uh, so... Thursday. If you have unlimited games, like they're all there. Like like um free play. Oh yeah. Uh, that's a good question. What do I usually end up in front of? I do love Satan's Hollow. You I do. do love that yeah, game. I probably play, play a lot of that. Um I also quite enjoy <laughs> now. Jesus, what the hell? <laughs> Sorry. Um Rage Reset. Um <laughs> Immediately. Yeah, that was quick. Uh I do really like Pac-Man games now. Oh, I never did in the past, but I always so like yeah, Double Rage Reset. Uh, I do like to, you know, get in front of the Miss Pac-Man and the older Pac-Man mm. games. So I that's do like those two. Yeah, I used to hate them. I don't, I don't know why, but I've gotten <laughs> well, we a feel. A show now. We played a lot of them, and I've gotten more of a feel for how the enemies move, and I feel better about playing those games. Now. I I would definitely um, say the show has influenced my game selections oh, as well. Oh, sure. It's like, and made me appreciate games I just didn't give a second thought to. Yeah. Well, some games you do have to play for a little while to get the hang of the controls and... Like Robotron, I would never even go on before. Robotron, I think... Now if, it's like super fun. If anyone handed me Robotron to play without knowing much about it, never playing it before, I would get frustrated with it really quickly because it's just overwhelming. It is. So, again, yeah, it's true. And once you get the hang of it, 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 it gets almost um, zen-like, you it know? Does. You you kind of um, you're relax into it a little bit. patterns yeah. almost. You're looking for clumps of yes. enemies. And, like, you're, you're kind of looking for where you should be and, and Ooh, moving to where alert. you should be. I think I'm gonna have to just destroy this one. That's okay. <laughs> I waited too long. I was like, like I was going for some points, but this. Oh, keep going. You're at ten thousand already. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want condition red. It's bad news. I, just I didn't even see a spy ship. I guess I was just playing too long. Oh, oops. That's okay. It sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger a little. Alarm, alarm. Yeah, yeah, it does. Like there's an Austrian accent going on. Battle stations. Um, I always find with this game, it's like I just want to stay alive. <laughs> just kill him, <laughs> kill him. Because oh, yeah. you can get overwhelmed very, very quickly. Yes, if you're not shooting them constantly, they're just more and more. Ooh, what is that? Ah. Pretty quick first up there. Uh, a little bit less generous as time goes on. Alarm, alarm. Ooh, alarm way alarm. too close to that. So wait, what was the score you need to beat? 30 something? Alarm, oh, alarm. no, no, no. Uh, like 400,000. 400, oh, okay. Uh, I'm like 30. That's pathetic. You're almost there. Yeah, that's, no. <laughs> level 2? <I'm> level 2? <laughs> They're not very good on the it is it is one of those super high scoring games uh, there's a lot of bases in this so I'm going to probably just pick up that way. Okay. play around with like the last. This is the one you can just 
threes through if you really want to. Yeah, because they're all in a row. Yeah. In the arcade, they're not like this. They're not set up so you can just shoot, 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 shoot all the way down. Right? Yeah. Mm. They are staggered left, right, and then up, down, left, right, up, down. It's an nostalgic thing. I know, but it's nice when it's nice. Boom. Yeah, the arcade wants to go. Bye, ship. Now I gotta go. There's two left. Maybe I can see it. Let's go. Very nice. Very nice. And the spy ship's nice. not as uh, forgiving after a while. Yeah. So it goes yellow, red, ah, you're dead. Nice. Now it's missile time. No, missiles on levels one and two. Mm -hmm. So, have we been playing it on an easier level? Because this seems to I ramp know. up really <laughs> fast. It does seem to ramp up really fast. Like, maybe I've been playing on easy instead of normal or something. It's possible. It's it I don't remember playing it on easy or something. Is this BB or? Yeah, it's BB. Oh, it's just defaults. Must know what specifically is the alarm alarm voice uh, warning you about. That's uh, a release of a spy uh, ship? Uh, no, it's the release of a formation. Or maybe battle stations? Or That's a formation, yeah, battle stations. What is the spy ship? Uh, it's, it does say something for if that. If you do not shoot the spy ship, it will go condition red because it reports back. Yeah. And then you're in big trouble. That's the yellow one, right? Yeah. Because all the ships come out. All at once. do a swarm. I think the alarm alarm is. That's it. That's a special. And the, pink, um, the formation ships. If you kill the diff the oddly colored one, they just split apart. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to go for that one. Yeah. Because they get confused. They're I think like, you get more points. I don't know where I am. Lot, but. down in the corner, so you know where... Yeah, you need that. Oh. And if you, I guess if you're really good and you want to rack up points, go for Condition Red. And then because you'll have tons and tons of ships coming after you. I'm sure there's very specific strategies Alarm just means you're close to the to the station, I think. I think so. Yeah, because it releases a ship when you get close to the station. I've never looked that up. What I, that indicates. Uh, for some reason, I think I remember reading that. Yeah. But um. And battle stations is when it goes from green to yellow. Mm. No, I think. Or, alarm, alarm. I think. Like oh, it did come on the screen when it said that. Yeah. The, uh, the base. I think Battle Stations is when a formation comes in. Okay. Yes, I think you're right. I think when you get close to a, a station, that's when it says Alarm Alarm. One of the few games, Homebrews, where there's voices. Ah, oh, I thought it would make it through. <laughs> Terrible. Um, where there's voices during gameplay. Mm. I'm not using the card because it's very resource hungry. Because you have to change the audio whenever you want. Alarm, alarm. <laughs> 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 
I think the good thing is that the more you play, the more points you get yeah. faster because there's just more to shoot on the screen. Ooh. I think the battle stations one is funny. I'd hope they'd be at their battle stations already, given all this. <laughs> yes, exactly. As you're taking out their bases, you would expect... With one ship? With one ship. It's like, mm, maybe they should be at the battle stations at all. <laughs> yeah. It would make a lot maybe of sense. Maybe you should hover around your yeah. stations and not fly off, because you're not doing a good job there. Mm -hmm. And go to Condition Red immediately. <laughs> But it's good. This is one of those games where you get better at the arcade because you're playing the 2600. It's so good. It's such a good representation of the arcade. It's not exactly the same, but it's so close that it doesn't even matter. It's the same skill set. And it, we, we did it, somebody helped us out with what he was saying when it says yes. alart, alarm, alarm, it's alart, like alart, 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 alarto, 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 yeah. And the person who read it did an anglicization of alarto, which is alart. So it's, it's kind of like alert and alarm at the same because time. Because Japanese is alarto. Yeah, like the translation. Yeah. It's like, well, they translate alert to alarto for Japanese speakers, but the person who read it had to read it in an English form without the O. But they so it was alert instead of alert. Yeah. Alert so it really should be alert, alert, I yes. think. But yes. yeah, it just sounds so funny. <laughs> but it literally is alert in the arcade. Because it's just so uh, yeah. unique, you have to keep it. it. But it doesn't even sound like a T, a lar. It sounds like oh, a lar almost. Because T's don't translate well, yeah, with true. that voice, type of voice. And I think that's why it sounds a little bit like a lar. Yes. Because you, you don't quite you get the hear R, the T. But you don't get the T. Exactly. It's interesting. A lar, a lar. Hmm? Lost so many lives! So many lives! Unnecessary. I'll, I'll, I'll do that with <laughs> okay, oh. oh, Spy ship sighted. Spy ship sighted. I know. Ah! Terrible! 123310. Hello, Atari 2600 dude! So, is the voice the voice of the people on your ship? Uh, some of, yeah, it must be because, because Spy Ship Sighted would be Spy Ship Sighted. Spy, spy Ship but Sighted would be stations. your ship. Battle stations could be. Them. Your ship saying, get to your battle stations to start shooting things. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 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 that's true. An alarm, alarm. Oh, we can see it now. You're, you're going to have to start shooting. Yeah. It's just a little it confusing because be. it kind of sounds like it should oh. be the bad guys. Good night, B. Art Pocock. Thanks for hanging Good out night. with us. Yes, I did get the patch in Raptor. I did not get first place. Somebody got 1,080 something and I got 1,071. Ah. I was very close. But I did get the patch, which was the main goal. Playing it. So I was very happy with that. And I got it in my first game. But I had practiced recently on Friday, so. Already terrible. I can't even get it up in the middle. Get up the middle! Uh, oh my goodness! I'm not gonna get one of these stations. It's terrible. Just go to red alerts and I'm gonna be swarmed. like Ugh. It's so bad. Get in there! <laughs> oh! It's taking me a second. Hello, Trey guy. Alarm, alarm. What are you doing? 
It's all about small adjustments. It is. There we go. Finally. That was brutal. No. It was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. Um, or you can shoot all around them. No, that's the other no. option. It's much easier to shoot the pods. True. That well, it's slower but easier. Possibly. Oh, it's more points for sure. So if you have time to do it, it's better to shoot. Yeah, to the right. Alarm! Alarm! Work that spy ship. Oh. Good job. I got disconnected from the chat oh, somehow. No. Oh no! Well, welcome back. <laughs> no, there's some on the screen <laughs> that you can look at on the Twitch screen. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, well, we almost ran into it. It is. It is all about small adjustments. Yeah, it's like, that's how I do it. Just kind yeah. of aim for it roughly, and then just. Move over a tiny bit. To get it. So this is definitely one of my go tos in the arcade. Right away. I like Dig Dug as well a lot. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I love that. And, um. I got uh, some handheld dig dug. I was really disappointed in. Oh, it, it's it, that it was flat it. one. That really, really flat one. It's like, oh, this is terrible. Silliness. Terrible dig dug. So I don't. I didn't even take it out of the package. <laughs> it's so bad. I also got a Galaga um, handheld one, which is not great as either. Come on. Nothing. Oh my god, that was crazy. This is Ooh. how I roll. <laughs> Apparently. Skin of my teeth. Skin of my teeth. That's, that actually... Your, your teeth has skin. Ah! Skin. It's time to clean them. <laughs> Are you going to play Aardvark and Stradivox? Uh, on another after Because I knew Aardvark. we had to play Raptor. I do love Aardvark. Yeah, you, that you, is so much fun. I think you could do some damage on Aardvark. I think I could do pretty well on Aardvark. Um, Stratavox, I don't think I can do as well as I for some reason, even though it's a shooter and I love shooters. Um, but I will, because that contest goes on for three weeks, so there's plenty of time to get some scores in. And I just thought, oh, Raptor, I recently played Raptor. So it's probably a good idea to follow it up pretty shortly after. Oh, no! Yeah, our Vark's amazing. It's so good. Oh, I just clipped him. 39,400. I have gotten 100,000 in this game before, so not the greatest, but that's okay. I'm going to run and come right back. So, okay. Yeah. Try and beat that. I think I can. It, that was a terrible game. Uh, 123. Super bad. You get better in the arcade. Just made some bad decisions. We just haven't played it in a while. Last time we played it was December 2020. So over a year I think I should just go for the bases and not mess around with the pod things. It's just exposing me. Too much. You don't get that much more, I don't think. I'm watching the screen. But let's let's say if it's the last pod, I'll go for it. because it was it was the red alert that got me. I was on level one, I was level two. Terrible. You must have been playing this in any mode before. Oh. Oh. I would 
Ah. Ah. No, no, that's not supposed to be. Yes. Except for the last one, where I can take my time. Popcorn? You mean not to look at what you have. I could smell <laughs> the popcorn. <laughs> Getting your greasy hands all over my custom glow sticks. No paper towels. Oh. <laughs> Damn, from the room. I need those you. those chopsticks, you know. <laughs> those hand chopsticks. Yeah, we, we we were watching some YouTube video on a guy and it's like chopsticks you put between your two fingers. This whole channel is, is Kind of like Amazon garbage would be what I would call it. Like yeah. small plasticky, cheap trinkety, trinkety things. Things that you know, must help be, um, people. as oh no, as seen on TV. Sorry, yeah. sorry to distract. Yeah, a bunch of seen on TV. That kind of stuff. Okay. Um, and yeah, and then he had one that was almost like a between the fingers chopstick, so you could eat snacks and play video games. Well, that's what he was using it for, which I thought was pretty cool. It worked, but. You know, do you want to so yeah. hmm? you restart your game? Uh, I'm sorry I distracted I you. I kind of do, but I don't have the same No rage reason, no. I mean, it's good practice. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably do it for a game, so... Unlike Raptor, which I did worse in the second mm -hmm. game. It's just I haven't played this in a long time. On on the 2600 in December 2020, so like a year and a half ago. A lot, a lot. Need a lot of practice, and you know the arcade's been shut down for a while here. Oh, yeah, the various arcade. factors. Um, not they had just a flood, right? Something like flood. that too. Yeah. They had Very some sad. other thing as well that happened to them. A fire nearby. Oh I yes, I think you're right. Oh, yeah. God. Nothing it, but. Rubble. Yeah, poor, poor dude who runs the arcade. Yeah. It's uh, filled with his own arcade machines, too, I think. So. Yes, it is. He's yeah. very, very knowledgeable. Yeah. Um, and he's actually um, a qualified judge for... Um, oh, Twin Galaxies, Twin Galaxies. Saying? Yeah. So if you want to actually get a high score, and he's got certified boards um, at his arcade, you can actually get a high score at Twin Galaxies. You know, What's the name of it again? Now is arcade. Oh, Capital City Arcade. Capital City Arcade. That's in New Westminster, British Columbia. If you ever happen, happen to be to up here. our way and it's a great, great arcade. It is a nice arcade. It's got all my favorite games in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a really, really good selection of everything. Yes. Yeah. A lot of old school. And he had and a mix of new stuff, like newer stuff. And he had a bunch of pinball, but he took the pinball out during COVID, and I'm not sure if that's just to spread things out a it little is. bit. To get because you couldn't. And I think you had, I think he had capacity limits anyway, so, yeah. Anyway, is it reopened, or? Uh, I don't think it's reopened it? yet. Oh, no. He's still cleaning up from the floor. That's so sucky. Hi, a cardboard box. A cardboard box. <laughs> Welcome to a late night stream. All the West Coasters and Europeans. Or, or Australians, maybe? Australians? In yes, the yeah, we got Australians in the morning. Technically, it's their work. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Working already. So, after Hawaii. Uh, after yeah. Hawaii? No. Uh, okay. What would be our next big trip? I would be. Oh. Big trip. Big trip. Okay. Hey, Pack Rat Fiji. He, he resubscribed. Just stopping by for a bit. Well, thank you for stopping by for however much time you have. I don't know what the next one is, but I know which one we have on the list. Of well, do. Australia is one of the places we wanted to oh, go yeah. to or go back to for, for you because I didn't get a chance to go. There's a lot of them. We got the good, good, got the splash. Yeah. Um, there's Europe. I haven't been back to Europe in a very long time. Me neither. Well, you did for, for some work, but that yeah. was not the same. Um, yeah, in 2014, I was in Europe. Um, yep, Europe. 
you say Europe. No. Countries in Europe. <laughs> you don't just do Europe. Yes, it's uh, really big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, there's the Mediterranean area. Yeah, I've never been to. I've never been to. Either. Just, it, I've been to Italy. Mm. It does, but it does? yeah, but. Uh, um, uh, yes. South America. South America. Um, and somebody from Brazil that, I, that I've been talking to, but mm. their game gave me some like, pictures of various places in Brazil. Oh, yeah? Like, oh, you should go there, because after I said it, like, back, from, back from Maui. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, look at this, look at this, look at yeah. this. Like, You're going to wow. love Brazil. <laughs> is, yeah, Brazil's huge. Oh, yes. Right? So there's so many amazing places. Yeah. Look at that patient. Well, cat. South America's huge. I mean, yeah. yeah Very South little America. exposure to a lot of South American countries. I would love to, if you go anywhere, you kind of want to see as much as yeah. you can. Yeah, Brazil and Colombia, Venezuela. Although, I, I have to say, for the traveling I have done, I actually kind of prefer to pick one place. Because when you do, like, a rain ride for Europe or whatever, you, you have so little time, and you're just like hitting the highlights, and if yeah. there's something about going to a city or, or a country and limiting the amount of things you do so you get used to kind of the culture a little more in the place you're in. Yeah, if you have um, limited time or you know you're yeah. not going to be back or you, yeah. you want to go to very specific places in Europe, yeah. then sometimes you have to kind of get in a bunch of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well... That's why I brought the popcorn, because I figured I'd be eating while, while you were ra racking up score, so... Although... I am unhappy. Don't want greasy joysticks. Greasy joysticks. Packrat, just off stopping by for a bit. Huh? I'm very glad you stopped by and saw that we were broadcasting. Level at the sneak in between two of these. They really fire their missiles, which they say are fireable at the same time. Oof, that was really lucky. Very close. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it was around the right place, but... Oh. Where? 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 Good job. Nice. Oh, boy. <laughs> So, during the break, what what were we up to? Um, well, we did go get to see <laughs> Most uh, Death on the Nile. Oh, yeah, it was... Uh, probably one of the... <laughs> yeah, it was fine. Uh, one of the few movies we've seen in the theater in the last little while, I guess. Especially new movies. We have a kind of a second-run theater by us, and we'll see sometimes older, older films there. Good job. Yep, that, we didn't see it there. No, <laughs> no, but like in, in like a modern movie in the theater, we haven't oh, seen yeah. a lot of new new movies. Um, it's fine. What you would expect of an Agatha Christie? <laughs> yeah. Although, in my opinion, and I don't know if this is the right audience, <laughs> I grew up watching all the old David Suchet Poirots with my parents in like the nineties. Um, and Kenneth Branagh is just not really Poirot to me, so you know. <laughs> British mystery BBC stuff, so. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was a fine film, it was good, it was a Valentine's Day film for us, so. <laughs> yeah, it did its job. It <laughs> did its job. <laughs> it didn't come out right. No, it didn't. <laughs> Yeah, it was fun. I 
was hoping a little better, but you know. It wasn't bad. Wasn't the bad. beginning was like, wow, this yes. is amazing. What? Oh my god, I didn't think it was going to be that good. And then I got Adam Su <laughs> uh, uh, David, uh, Adam H. Agrees, David Suchet is the true true Poirot. Uh, he just he's just oh, yeah. perfect. Uh, he's perfect for that role. So. Uh, mine. I know he's like treats or popcorn. Yeah, oh, no, he goodness. he does consider popcorn a treat, so he's already getting the treat eyes going on there. He didn't switch to the cat then, he got his The cat. little gray cells, yes, yes. The gray cat cells? No, no, no. Brain cells. He, that he, uh, the Poirot says that all the time. Oh, oh the little gray cells. It's been a long time though since I've seen the, that that those series. Ah! TV series or mini series? Probably. Yeah. Or, I think they're usually mini series. It's been a really long time. Oh, yeah. Did it span over multiple episodes? I, yeah, I believe so. I would actually wouldn't mind rewatching them. They're very good. They're somewhere. It's getting challenging. Getting challenging. Watch. Oh, they're fast. Mm. We also watched um the Yellow Jackets. Oh no, yes, the TV, uh, the TV series. We started watching Yellow Jackets, uh, which Very has good. a lot of '90s nostalgia in it. It's, um, it's good. Yeah. What, the 90s nostalgia? No. Or the, oh, uh, no, it's a little anachronistic. Like, oh. some of the songs, I'm like, no, I wouldn't have listened to that then. Because they're basically... Kids who get... In, or in a plane crash in, in the mid-90s. And then... In BC, here. <laughs> in B, yeah, in, like, in the Rockies in BC. So it's filmed here. Northern BC. Uh, Northern BC. And set here. I just filmed here. Well, yeah, that's true. Did they say they're yes. in BC? Yeah. 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 In BC. I don't remember that, but yes. um I think they're going to Alaska. Mm. Unless they're going to somewhere in mm -hmm. Eastern Asia. <laughs> oh, there's so many things. Um and it flashes backwards and forwards to present day. They're all middle-aged women dealing with their trauma De dealing with their trauma and then alluding to what happened in the past and that's sort of the mystery of what Ooh. happened in the past and then there's a mystery in the present as well and um but there is a lot of sort of uh, uh, nostalgic kind of references to the 90s and it's, it's it's pretty good it's pretty good so far it definitely has a bit of psychological thriller psychological horror going on but we're not that far into it yet too many things ah Losing all... Speaking of Poro, Adam H. Uh, says, I thought the earlier episodes were the best with Captain Allah. Hastings, and I do remember the Captain Captain Hastings episodes. I'm aware of the TV series. I <laughs> watch the TV series. Ah! Was your butt to mom watch a lot of British stuff? Oh. Yeah. It might have been on TV. I don't remember that one being on TV. Mm. No. I mean, we watched it through PBS, so... Yeah. It was all PBS. Really? Oh, <laughs> privilege with PBS. That's right. Or, but you were in an area where there's a lot of channels because you were near like New York. Yeah, New York State. Yeah. I mean, we're near um, mm. in Seattle, so yeah. we got some Seattle stations. Well, there, there is. There's a PBS station in Seattle. Oh, we didn't get it. Did you have just over-the-air stuff? Yeah, so you're kind of limited in what you get. Stop it! There's too many things! It's like it's red alert all the time. I believe it was Watertown. Watertown? It is. Watertown? Watertown? Anyway. Yeah, we watched a lot of videos. <laughs> die, die, die. Very good. I need extra life. Oh, God! Oh, God. <gasps> get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, my goodness. Out quick. But I don't have to travel to them very far. Yep, so that's a good thing. <laughs> ah, I gotcha. Over. That was decent. That was decent. Getting there. Getting there. Die, 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 die is what did it, yeah. <laughs> die, die, die. <laughs> I have one more game in me. Okay. Wrists are. Take a, take a break. Cramping. Have some popcorn. Wipe your hands on your pants. I'm, please. Wi I'm wiping them on the pants. Yeah. I don't even have any water down here. Oh, 
You don't. Oh, you should get some water. Yes. As I die. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff on the screen. Brick comms, yes. Brick comms are good. I mean, if you watch them now, they're really cheesy. Oh, well. Ones from the 70s and 80s and 60s. Well, so is American sitcoms. They're super cheesy if you watch them now. They have. Come on! <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Why am I sucking at this? There we go. I watched a lot of Are You Being Served. Are You Being Served. Like oh, all that of is them. like the most ridiculous show. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> Nothing but silly, silly puns and innuendos. Innuendos. I can't believe the 70s was 50 years ago. Yeah. Hush, hush you, hush. Hush, hush. <laughs> <laughs> I remember watching the young ones. That James, oh, yes. James oh, left oh, the young oh, ones, oh. yeah. Yep, young ones and bottom. Um, What's that actor's name? Adrian. Adrian. Married to... Um, Jennifer Saunders, I think? Or, not Don. No, yeah, Jennifer Saunders. Yeah. But he passed away. Did he? Yeah. Was he married to Jennifer Saunders? Am I thinking of the right person? No. Oh, I'll mix that. Adrianson. Something Adrianson? Guys, there's some dinner on the floor if you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Young Ones. Oh, yeah. It's so chaotic yeah. and absurd the oh, young ones yes. is just it's out of control like yeah. it doesn't even fit with That's so other great about it. other sitcoms like it's so weird and like yeah. absurdist yeah. it's very very absurdist like normal people don't act like they do nobody acts like they do not only somebody that said yeah it was so out there and they're like little puppets little nice puppets as well and then just random bands would play in the house. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that. It, like, yeah. suddenly turned into a variety show. Yeah. And it's very sad because the DVDs yeah. of them don't include all the bands. Oh, because, because it couldn't get the licensing. licensing. Yeah. Ugh. And that's, that's what happened to WKRP in Cincinnati. Oh, yeah, that's true. And also the hilarious House of Frightenstein. Oh, yes. Because every episode, they had the Wolfman. Oh, DJ. DJ. You're right. And they would play a super well-known song. Yeah. Like, super, super well-known. And was, almost all of them were either left out or just dubbed over with some, <laughs> some song you've never heard of. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's funny that we still have those problems here. You know, with people know. playing music and getting in trouble and then yep. not being able to show the content with the music on top of it. and Yep, they want their money. And like, but even we were watching old ah, Saturday Night Live episodes and they have to cut out all the musical content. All of it. Which is so silly. So on silly. On their own channel. Because, I bet, they just don't bother licensing it. Get him, get him. screen on the internet. They're like, nah, yeah. we don't want to We don't want to bother. Music. We don't want to bother. Yeah. We're only going to license it for uh, first run TV or whatever they license it for. When I first saw it as a kid, it was just so eye opening. Nothing like sitcoms you see on TV here at the time. Yeah. Younger ones are nothing like anything, still. I don't know what to do. Oh, Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. Um, I also watched a lot of Red Dwarf, which goes back to oh, the yeah. 80s. Not 70s, but 80s. Um, but I mean, that show still happened. Right oh, into it. Right <laughs> into it. Do you want me to keep playing? Do you want a, do you want a longer break? Yeah, I'm going to get some water. Okay. Special patrol group is a stupid name for an hamster. <laughs> well, it is quite the name for a hamster. <laughs> mm. uh, uh. 
think about other good ones. I mean, I do think Faulty Towers was one of my dad's favorite TV series, and we watched that. Well, it's like the peak of British comedy. Oh, it's just so crazy. I mean, it's jumping. So what are you going to do? And of course, Faulty Towers as well. Uh, not Faulty Towers. Um, Monty Python's flying. Oh, Marcus. oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, some of it. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of it's... People just remember the good stuff from that show. <laughs> There's a lot of bad on Monty Python. Well, uh, if you look at, yeah, I mean, we, you always later see, you always see the best of, right? Like, yeah. yeah. But I own the box set, and one weekend I watched all of it. That's hilarious. All at once. Uh, yeah, I kind of fell asleep during it. Uh, during the last couple of seasons, <laughs> off and on. Or did I watch it? I think I watched it all in one day. I think when I'm doing art or I'm making little resin things and whatever, I like to kind of put on TV series I've seen before because you don't have to focus too much on them. And I was watching over some old Buffy the Vampire Slayers, which is also a series I really like. Oh, oh yeah, go Buffy. ahead, go ahead. Yep. Dryerlint17. Um, we have played Crackpots on the show. <laughs> Because there is a patch for crackpots, and I have not achieved the patch for crackpots yet. Mm. Come close. Um, it is. It gets really hard, and I've come really close to it. But, uh, I will play it again on the show. We usually play uh, just homebrew here, unless we're going for a patch score or doing something special, mm. because it, uh, the show's about homebrew. But we have played crackpots, and it's a very well-made game. By Kitten Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Friend of the show. Ah. Kitten. Tell yourself. Um, so continue with your Buffy story. Oh, no, I was just saying, uh, it's funny to go back on this series, and you always remember, say, the best ones or the best episodes. And I was watching them, and, and yeah, some of them are very good, but some of the logic in some of them, too, you're just like, oh, my God. There was one episode, and I realized... All the bad vampires were left locked in a vault at the end of the episode and did they kill them no they just walked away and said well eventually they'll get out and i was thinking this is a this is like season two i think of spike and drusilla and i remember thinking to myself so the whole series would have been over if they just killed the vampires that they had locked in the vault. Like the like it would just be done and and I just you, you think back infinite, on that. But there's infinite bad guys, right? No, but I mean those those Oh no another big demon came All from. the big name vampires like Spike and Drusilla and, and a bunch of them. There? They were in there okay, and it's that's like ridiculous. And so you're like, yeah, it like basically would have ended the series <laughs> if they had just the vampires that they already had locked up all in one room together that's like, a problem it's just you're like come yeah. on <laughs> it's just the most ridiculous thing um yeah i just had that realization watching it like oh this this whole series would have been done if they actually did what they should have done and just killed the vampires the room, so. oh black adder as well yeah, yeah. That's black a, adder that's very, so very good. good and also love hugh laurie and a bit of fry and laurie is a really good sketch oh, yeah. series too which it is. i think we watched i hadn't really seen much of it i've only seen a bit here and there we should like watch it. well no like, we did we did watch it oh, i'm positive we did I, we watched all the episodes we watched a bunch but i don't think we watched them in no. order to make sure we didn't miss any no no we watched we watched them all we went through the seasons i'm positive we did because i'd never seen any of it and i think we started from the beginning and watched it anyway it's a pretty good series you must have blacked out i think we did <laughs> no i think we did because i was a big fan of house as well when that oh, was yeah. on Almost house. all of House. Yeah. We watched all of House. We watched yeah. it right to the end. Yeah, we did. It's one of the few series I can say I watched entirely during its run on TV. Mm. Not a lot of TV series I've had that dedication for. My ah, absolute favorite sketch show mm -hmm. ever is Kids in the Hall. Oh, yeah. Um, I think Bang for Your Buck 
if you need it. Um, the skits on there are are better than just about any, probably any skit. Yeah, and they still pulled up a lot of them today. Like, I mean, some oh. some obviously not everything does, but I still find a lot of it very very funny. And also a bit of that absurdist humor in there as well. Oh, yeah, because they, they, they loved Monty Python. So. Oh, cool. And anybody from that generation grew up watching it on TV, right? Oh, and you should mention the other show we've been watching on, on the streaming service, which is a Canadian one. Oh, that's funny. It is, um, speaking okay. of, of, of comedians. Um, it's, it's a game show. Mm. Um, and it's... Canadian. Canadian game show. Gosh, it's a bunch, gosh, gosh. bunch of comedians, mm -hmm. like eight of them, are all competing against each other. Like super famous to semi-famous comedians. Yes. And Jay Baruchel um, is, is the host. Like he's well known to people in the U.S. as well. But They're actually, all, all the all the comedians are fairly well known. I mean, as a few of them would be kind of well known Canadian comedians, but. Mm -hmm. You know, Colin Mockery's on it. He's worldwide known. Um, uh, Tom Green. Tom Green is worldwide known. Um, yeah. What's his face from Kids in the Hall? Um, uh, Dave Foley. Dave Foley. Um, the one from uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Mm. Yeah. His the name ant. is one yeah. of the ants. Um, and the whole premise is they're locked in a room, very Big Brother style. And can't when escape. It, they can't escape, and when an alarm goes off, they're not allowed to laugh. So they spend the whole time trying to make each other laugh without laughing themselves. And it's surreal, and it's hilarious the things they try to do. And I and we haven't. It's it's playing live, yet. so they're kind of releasing the episodes one by one. Like I think it's off TV. <laughs> is it off Showcase? Yes, which is it's a showcase. station in Canada. Um, Isn't that the U.S. station? Well, no. Uh, I think this is the Canadian showcase. Yeah. Oh, anyway, yeah, it is Canadian. Because it is a Canadian station. Um, but I really think Tom Green's going to win. Yep. Because he's just so deadpan and can and just he does not seem to break. He's coming close, but he doesn't seem to break. He, he of all of them, like he just he can just stay in his like Tom Green character and just. <laughs> Because Just be ridiculous hmm. and he's not He's had laugh. so much practice at, like, playing practical jokes on normal, everyday people yeah. without cracking. Without cracking or laughing. That he, that's yeah. his whole thing. Yeah. All these other ones are either actors or stand-up comedians. And, and sketch, sketch <laughs> and comedians sketch. are generally pretty good. Like, Colin Mockery's... Oh, yeah, he would be... Is very good. ...the equivalent, because he has to do it live yeah. in front of a studio... And very much like Tom Green did on the street yeah. uh, interviews. Um, and there's some younger comedians who are doing quite well too, but um, anyway, it, it, is it, what was it called? Uh, make Me Laugh or something. Make Me Laugh? I'm going to have to look it up now. It's probably not something all the Americans out there or anyone else has seen because it's be probably it. just being, sh I don't know, it's probably just being shown. But they could easily make a US version. Is it on Crave? Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, rage reset! <laughs> last, last reset. I won't reset anymore. Was it on Prime? Was it on Was it on something else? Was it on Prime? <laughs> I don't remember. Too many. There's too many. I I think it's on Crave. Last one laughing, Canada. So maybe it is the Canadian version of some other. Probably there's a, British, but there is a French one. Is there? Oh, yeah. maybe that's where French Canadian. So, so maybe that it started as a French. Oh, 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 oh. Probably French. Last one laughing. It just says Canada comedy series. So maybe it is a Canadian one. Anyway, it's a great premise. Yeah. Because the host is, is laughing and then when people laugh they get kicked out and then they can laugh yeah. in the you know, in the bad room and they get kicked out uh, yeah so and it's edited down so you don't see all this silly stuff you just see the good yeah. the good stuff that makes people laugh them being really ridiculous anyway if you're looking for something light and you're Canadian uh, yeah. 
don't or, know. I don't or think you have so. a VPN. If, if, or if you just enjoy the humor of those comedians, you know? Yeah. Um, sorry, that made me thinking of Kids in the Hall. Made me think uh, of that. The person uh, from the Kids in the Hall is on that. So. Yeah. It was uh, it's the same. better than I thought it was going to be. Because yeah. I was like, oh, is this going like, to be terrible? Is this is going to be like a really terrible, like, um, I don't want to say. Uh, game show, right? Yeah. Yeah. But no, it was quite fun. Yeah. Uh, it's put together well. Mm -hmm. And yes, Tom Green does pull out his keyboard. Yep, starts singing <laughs> silly, silly songs. Yeah. If ever you were a Tom Green fan. I watched it. Yeah, if you're a Tom Green fan, definitely I grew up in it. Ottawa. Tom Green did his show in Ottawa and was on our public access cable, so my teenagehood in the 90s is very much defined by Tom Green's comedy. So, yeah. That was a very big when he was um, just after I, I discovered him just after he moved from his um, public access public like, access to the com to yeah. Comedy Central. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's on Prime Video, so I'm not sure what station. It's, mm. I think it's Showcase or one of those. Yeah. Yay! Like, did you steal? He stole. He stole a popcorn. Is that on camera? I don't think it's on camera, but he did steal the popcorn. Popcorn stealer. Oh, that's a bad cat. Anyway, <laughs> all the TV shows we've been catching up on since you haven't been doing the show. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, oh, it's treat time. Thank you, Metal Winner 7. I would pause this for full screen cat treats, but I can't. No, it's okay. Okay, are you ready? Oh, he's born ready. He is making his own treat time, exactly. <laughs> making his own yeah. treat time. He's like, if you're not going to give me the treats, I will, I will just take my own. Thank you. Don't need a bell either. Nope. He just sticks his paw in the bowl, pulls out a popcorn. Gonna hit good kitty. Good kitty, that's one. It's funny, the moment James comes down here and turns the lights on, he starts crying. He starts crying for treats. He's just like, I know what this means. This means treats are coming. Yep, he gets very excited. He gets so excited <laughs> every time we stream. Sitting on the bell. Let me make the bell. <laughs> you know all Good about kitty. The bell. Good don't kitty. Pretend you don't know about the bell. Yeah. Don't give me that look. You know how the bell works. I didn't. He he knocked it as I dropped oh, it, and then he oh. knocked it away. And now he's running away with it. He thinks it's gonna escape. <laughs> this game is made by Daryl Spice Jr. Oh, nice. Hope makes. Ah! Oh, I'm not gonna reset though. No. I hope makes another game. He hasn't worked on a game in a long time. Come on, Atari, you bring the bell. He thinks one got away from him. so good at making games. All his games oh. are so good. Ah! Has he made one in a while? No. Mm. Uh, that I know of. I mean, a lot of people work on them in secret. There's so many in my hand. Go and hit the bell. No, no, you don't want popcorn. He's getting distracted. <laughs> hit the bell. Popcorn distractions. Hit the bell. Good kitty. Fully in the camera, yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, two? Okay. <laughs> you getting two? Well, I have a lot in my hands, so. He suffered, suffered through the Homebrew Awards. No <gasps> treats. I know. Well, we did give him treats, but at the end. But we did, couldn't have the bell, unfortunately. Not part of the, the uh, same. So. You know, people wanted it to be. And I'm like, this is not zero page. It is the 
not everybody tuning in knows about the treat time cats <laughs> and they're like probably like what is happening in the middle of the ceremony mm -hmm. there's a cat being fed treats full screen on it. <laughs> But who could who could fault a cat for wanting to remember? Oi! <laughs> oh God! No! Good oh. kitty. That's the last one. Okay. Oh. Right. Atari, thanks you. Metal yes, Lunar thank Seven. you so much, Metal Into a mine. He ran into a mine. No. Yeah, it, there's this brief window yeah. where if you shoot a mine, it's still exploding. And it's oh, still bad. Oh, yes, it's true, it's true. With the rocks, with um, the asteroids, mm -hmm. that doesn't happen. Okay, no. What's he doing? He's looking for treats. He's stealing popcorn? I have it in my head. Hello, hello. Uh, he's bad kid. He's like, well, if there's some treats, there's got to be more treats, so. They get really close. They're so quick, you have to shoot them Good because job. otherwise they will get you. Because they're faster than you now. That's true. So you, like, you can't ignore them anymore. Oh, that's one. Oh, we ran off the screen. You get, you get two chances. You do? Mm. You go red alert, red alert. Oh, I can't. Oh. Just gone. Get off my tail. That's what Atari says. Get off my tail. <laughs> so you've been a avid Red War fan for yes. this entire run. I think yes. you've watched every new season that comes oh, out. God, it's yes. amazing so, that new seasons keep coming out. Yeah, they're getting old. <laughs> yep. So I'm gonna back here. I thought Earth was destroyed. Uh, yes, in uh, the, in canon uh, terms, yes. No. Uh, no, it was turned in. Uh, no, it's not destroyed. No. It was turned into uh, garbage. Plants. Oh. <laughs> I believe in the books. I mean, not. Good job. Good job. <sighs> oh god, that was very lucky. Mm, big long line. Yeah. I don't to get in between them. What was it saying there? Like, yeah, as as it Condition was. Condition red. Condition, Condition red. red. Oh. Oh. Ah. Too much stuff. Yeah. Last life. Yeah. Not gonna make it. Oh. Hope it's. Hope things disappear from the screen. Or the bullets. Do. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Uh, to zero. Yeah. One of those games. Oh, it should be. One in reserve. One in reserve. Yep. One life left, not the life you're on. Mm -hmm. No sense. No sense at all. Allah, Allah. This game doesn't work. Allah, Allah. Allah, Allah. Yeah, when you get to, uh... 
Alert, alert. Alert, alert. When, when a base comes on the screen, it's alert, alert. Mm. How many levels are this? Oh, it... time. <gasps> oh. Sorry. Sorry. I'm distracted. You want another? I do. Do you want me to play a round? Because my rounds yes. are short, so... Yes. I do. We'll both play one more. Okay, that sounds like a good a good plan. 123. Mm. Not my highest. Mm -hmm. Need two more followers to get to a thousand followers. Now is not the time to make this. <laughs> this is the, not many people watching hello, right hello. now. It's very we'll beg for weird. followers at, uh, on Tuesday. On Tuesday? <laughs> do you know what we're playing on Tuesday? I do. Oh, is, is it brand new it. homebrew? Is it? Uh, yeah, there is some. Is, is it, is it, no, but it's all brand new stuff. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we're Oh, there is. Yeah, there is an exclusive. Excellent. And kicks. Oh. And the oh, oh. Is that a new Spelled version? Spelled 7IX. Yeah, it's an exclusive update. It's, is it not the one we played before? The one we oh. played before was the 2600? That was a 2600 by champion. Oh. Um, we're going to be playing uh, a bunch of Wordle. Wordle. Um, ports. Three Wordle ports. Three Wordle that ports. That people made in the past uh, month. Which, funnily enough, I have never played, Perfect. even though everyone on Facebook <laughs> seems to be playing it right now, and yeah. you're just like, oh, but anyway. No, it's a good game. It's a good game. No, I, I, it's just guessing. It, it guessing um, it's just guessing. Like, uh, it's just guessing. Uh, well, we've got three versions of it. Everybody's like, oh, I can do that in the 2600. Uh, so there's two uh, 26. <laughs> Two 2600 versions and one 7800 version. They're all very good. You know, and we're funny, playing funny. Monster Maze, which is a yes. new game by uh, the same person who did Wizard's Dungeon. Uh, Bido Empire. In the Wizard's Dungeon, you get power ups for the different spells. And oh, yes, and yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Nice. Ah, oh, that was you. terrible. No, it's fine. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, it's a fun, simple Pac Man type game. It's like Pac Man in the Dark. <laughs> in the Dark? Oh, you must be excited. Uh, I played it briefly. And I'm okay. Like, okay, this isn't as bad as I thought. I can it was manage this. Yep. I can manage this dark game. The most dark. It's not only dark, it's a maze. And I swear he did it on purpose. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm gonna ask him. But I don't know. Why would he make a game just to oh, be mad? Oh, come on! <laughs> that seems a bit a bit far fetched for somebody to make a game just. I'm sure there are people in the world who love dark mazes. Oh, I bet. Uh, wow, dark maze Pac-Man. Yep. Yep. Dark maze Pac-Man. Uh, where you can only see a little bit of the maze. You can see the enemies a little bit further than the maze. Ooh, just in time to get an extra hit. No. Two? So, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just playing. I'm not getting super high scores. Kitten. Oh, he's so cuddly now. He's always super happy when he gets full his treats. treats. Not being bad. Thank you both, Arena Foot and Metal Arena, for feeding this hungry, starving cat. Kitty. For only 5,000 bits, you can feed a starving cat. <laughs> Once an hour. <laughs> Once an hour. Yeah. We limit. Yeah. We, we do oh that. Oh my god. He we do saw that. the bowl. Did he? he? jumped out of my... He head. loves popcorn. He's like, oh my god, there's popcorn in that bowl. And he jumped out and went straight for it. Sometimes it gets stuck in his throat. So don't want to get we don't... Too yes. much. He can have the odd one. He can steal his odd one, but... Cats can have a little bit of popcorn. Oh, <laughs> why am I so bad this turn? Just a little bit of popcorn. <laughs> A little bit of popcorn. He loves his treats. There are a number of reasons why we limit him to one treat session an hour. The main one being, um, he 
it does have a tendency of getting a little chunky after a while. <laughs> so, Are you a chunky? You no, know, we all get a little chunky after. <laughs> um, after too many treats. After too many treats. Right into the. He just went right through me. Spy ship? Yeah. Oh no. It's like ah, he just came right down. Not much of a spy if he's. Yeah, I'm just not. I'm not, I'm not doing well this turn. Anyway, you got a little break there. <laughs> yeah. Very short one. Okay, last go at it. Mm. Beautiful title screen. Yeah. Hike. Let's hope. Hope I can do well. Are you happy? Are you people lurking in the background there? Oh, that's good. Just have it on in the background. Yeah. Watch it while they lay in bed trying to go to sleep. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, God. This is not a good cure for sleep. <laughs> Maybe it is. I don't know. I haven't heard any Consistent. reports on that. People talking, some video game noises. If video game noises soothe you, and people are going, ah, when they die, then this is a show for you to fall asleep. <laughs> Beautiful game. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, it's so, so good. Mm -hmm. I, I think it is my favorite shoot. Mm -hmm. It's definitely one I've played the most. I mean, Juno first is so good, but I think this one I've used it for uh, playability for me, for just wanting I, um, to play it. I kind of enjoy games that have, like, uh, um, a lot to shoot and scores and... It's just so it's, freeform. It's, it's freeform and it feels long running. It's like open world. Yes, open world is the right space way. Space shooter. It's like, um... Like nothing else on the system. Mm -hmm. And it makes it feel expansive and big. Yeah. Like you can, like you can warp around and yeah. wrap, wrap around space. It's just so good. Yeah. He scratch that bad. He wants. He wants it. Yes. Not more no, we'll give you. <laughs> no. Ah! <laughs> Is he attacking you? He smack him with his tail. He has no more treats. Down, he just went He's like, no, I must have more treats. Yeah. Don't tell me no more treats. <laughs> You're not my real mom. <laughs> we rescued you from a field. <laughs> from a field. And somebody else did. <laughs> and then we paid good money for you. <laughs> I was going to say, you're not my mom. The internet's my mom. They tell me when I get to have treats. That's right. They feed me. <laughs> you. You're just my servants. That's right. Me food, yeah. ah. You just a nappy. <laughs> That's right. There's a certain truth. Yeah. You don't like the show? Okay, we'll change it. We'll change the show. We're sorry. <laughs> If I wanted more viewers, I certainly wouldn't be playing 2600 Homebrew. <laughs> oh my god. It's a niche within a niche within a niche. That's very true. <laughs> but I like it, so I play it. That's right. Go, go, go. I like all those niches. to do something different and interesting. Yeah. And be playing all the same games that everyone else is playing on Twitch. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned. So. That's right. That's how I've been able to do it for four years. Not go crazy. Come on! <laughs> Come on, Michael. Yeah. Come on. That was a very distinct voice. Is Will Arnett? Come on. Come on, Michael. You're a loser. He 
does, is he Canadian? Yes. Yes. Because he does commercials in Canada. Yep. Even though I don't think everybody's like, oh, the Canadian, yeah. Well, I'm sure he very much lives in the U.S. now. Oh, yeah. Percent. So good. Oh, so many. There's a nice break in them. the show did you get the rapture patch did i and yes he did i did by 71 points yay yeah yeah 1071 yep i was very happy on my first play yeah first play through of, of the night yep and i got worse <laughs> which is often what happens yeah Thank you very much. Oh, I knew it. It's just too much coming at me at once. Damn it. But I only got second place in the contest so far. I mean, I knew I'd be good eventually. It was first place. I'm to cheat because I played on the show, but actually, I submitted it after. Posted it, so. People had a few hours. <laughs> uh. yeah, you run into that. Yeah, run into the mines. I always like the fact that they can run into the mines. That is nice. It is yes. nice because it kind of takes some of them out. You have two more weeks to get first. Yeah, I, I think I will try again because I, I, I know I can do that. Because I was making mistakes. <laughs> I do want an open space. Oh, you get big points though. <laughs> if you get everything but the lead ship, oh, you, you get, get a like a, a bonus. Small. No, that's pretty good. Though. You have two more weeks to get first, but so do they, says yeah. Charles Whelan. Yeah. That's true. That is the truth. They have more time. The patch was my main main goal. Focus today. Yeah. yeah. And I achieved it. So I am very, very happy, and I, even if I don't get a better score later, it doesn't matter. There. Get out of here. The only thing this doesn't Oh is oh, I guess the map is showing what what alert you're at. And it's green right now. Now it's yellow. yellow. Okay, so it does. Alarm, alarm. Alarm, alarm. I know it sounds like alarm. alarm, alarm. I know, but it which sounds like alar, alar to me. Which yeah. could be alert or alar alarm. <laughs> or alar. Alar, alar. This one is very difficult. 
Well, they're so dense. You have to, they do shoot at the same time, which helps a lot. I knew it! I shouldn't have gone in there. There's too much going on. Too much left. It's all about kind of timing. Oh, that was too risky. Yeah. Yeah. Too much stuff! Ow! Ow! Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, but they, they they seal off right after they shoot. Uh, there's a small opening right after they but shoot. But I think you all, if it's you shoot before. them, yeah, it is better before. If you can shoot them before they deploy their arrow. Um, oh, you know what I'm going to do? What? Okay. I'm just going to shoot the pawns to get some. That might actually be easy. Do the top and do the bottom. I got one more on there. Yeah, I made a spot now. Definitely helps. Down the line. Yeah, I feel really lucky, but I mean, it's, it's very so hard, hard with now. all the with all the. Yeah, it is yeah, they just throw you off the path so quickly. That's their goal. And this game is so dense too. Like there's, it's it's full of things on the screen all at once. It doesn't look like a 2600 game. Oh, it's so dense. It's crazy. And the flicker is like totally fine. Like it's manageable because it's changing all the time. The flicker management's so good. Ugh! 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 Push me far away. At least there is fire, friendly fire amongst the, the bad guys. Do you know is what I mean? Like a if, little bit. if this if station blows up, anything in its vicinity blows up too. Right? Yes, it does. Yeah. Because it is kind of like a mine. Good job. Extra oh, life. Like a mine. Get off my tail. Oh, they're doubling up. So that one on the right? Double. Oh, those are the worst. I think this one is ah! Oh, arm code. I think I think it does. Yeah. I think because it was a double one. Right on top of each other, so it blew up a little bit different. Yeah, the back and forth move. Got him? Yep. Rocks. My bullets. That's how you want it to work. Yep. Handy. Thank you. I need more lives. I need more lives. Mm. 
Oh, I got rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> you did. You blew it up. Yeah. Accidentally. It was sort of accidentally, but it worked out. No, 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 no. Fast now. very satisfying when they explode. Oh, it, it, yeah. it like really is. It's a huge explosion. It's yeah. wonderful. Good job. Uh, the stations all at once help. Clumpy yeah. together. It's kind of nice. <laughs> yes and no. It can mean a barrage of stuff, right? Uh, yeah. All right. Woo! Yeah, it's without the Atari box. Yeah. Yep. Okay, 206060. Oh, oh. uh, that. That's a nice number. It is a very nice, nice Lots repeating zeros, number. Two oh six oh six oh. Lots of fun. Very good. So let's see what is on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And I'll go along with everyone. Okay, there we go. Oh, switch over. Web page. Okay, so what's on zero page? Next episode is on Tuesday, which is in two days. Mm -hmm. We're going to be playing Kicks. I was informed that that's how you do say it, just Kicks. like the original. Excellent. Um, he may rename it to K7X. So KIX. Mm. I don't know why the seven's there. He didn't explain that. But it does. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> but it's pronounced Kicks. Yeah. Um, that's for the 7800. We got an exclusive version that's of it. That's awesome. Um, we're also going to be playing three Wordle ports, uh, <laughs> word guess for the 2600. Yeah. I will check my messages. I have been so busy. I mm. will get back to you very shortly. Seven, seven X. Seven X. Yeah. Seven X. Um, but yeah, I do want to check out what you've been sending me. Andrew, thank you so much. Uh, 2600. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> just check your messages um <laughs> 2600 words for the 2600 and wordle okay. the 7800 okay it's kind of a 7800 show but there's gonna be two 2600 cool. games because i want to cool. put all three together because yeah. the same game yeah. and then monster maze as well for the 7800 so lots of games on tuesday mm. i mean the wordles play all the same yeah ish so we'll just kind of be Looking at the features of each one, okay. right? Yep, yep, yep. Um, and we have a bunch more exclusive stuff. Exclusive final bill of ex Alien Exterminator next Friday. Mm -hmm. Gizzer, Grizzards also exclusive. Um, mm -hmm. Playing Huey's Party as well. We're, then the next one, we're going to be playing uh, the Zark Stars Trilogy. Now that it, he's put second one on pre-sale. Okay. Uh, Pre-order. 
actually the ordered. second one okay yeah. yeah order now pre-order they're actually okay. almost all sold out wow uh people like zark stars um and uh we'll also have a interview uh mm. not a live one mm. uh, but we will have a written interview with vandro uh camera and then we're gonna be playing game of the bear 2 too much to bear too much to bear game of the bear 2 yes he's already making a sequel he's almost already done he's on release <laughs> candidate 2 wow so Wow. Lyra the Ten Wreck, so that's 2600 day, then another 7800 day. Dragon's Havoc, Adventures of Ollie Troll. Remember mm. that one we did for the Atari Awards? He actually passed me mm. a uh, binary of it. Oh, awesome. Okay, which good. Which he hasn't put anywhere, just for us, which oh, is great. Oh, so we can play it. Yep, Excellent. so we can play it. Love it. And Robots Rumble, final updated binary. Nice. Then we have exclusive final binary of Space Pac Man. He's mm -hmm. finished that game. Um, and also a very much more advanced 1942 so we'll be playing that as well mm. um, and then way 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 down Razor's Edge exclusive world premiere of Razor's Edge that is the same person who uh, did Keijo Chases a Cheese mm. so I know nothing about that game like I, nothing about Razor's Edge okay. whatsoever so I don't know what it's new. about I don't know what it looks like nice brand new so it'll be uh uh, great name. Which one? Uh, oh, well, all of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> too uh, much to bear, maybe. Oh, that one, yeah. <laughs> Game of the Bear, too much to bear. Yeah, yeah that is a great name. Beach that sea is awesome. Mm. Um, and I know Al's been posting a lot mm. about all the new releases that are coming up. Uh, he's keeping everybody informed of the winter 2022 releases. Okay. He's cutting it close. When is spring? March Technically, 21st, it's right? March 20th? March 21st? Yeah, somewhere around, somewhere there. around there. So he's got he's got a small window left <laughs> to make the, win the winter 20 the winter, winter yeah. 2022. Um, or maybe he's referring to next winter. <laughs> no. Um, but we'll have Atari Age Day playing through all the games. Uh, even the Jaguar. Somebody's lending me a Jaguar. That's exciting. That'll yep. be fun. Not, for, not just for the day until I buy mine, which is which awesome. is lovely. It's yep. really nice that they're. And I got that. the yeah. uh, Jaguar multi cart the other day. Oh in that yes, box up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have a bunch of Jaguar games from last Atari yeah, HD. Yeah, I think that's going to be a fun day. Yeah, yeah, that is. So we'll be doing a Jaguar day. Yeah. In the future. In the future. Uh, and uh, Dark Keep as well, uh, which is a board game. Okay. converted to a 2600 video game Very cool. never played the board game but it has a big tower in the middle and you go around the tower oh don't know I don't much know that. more no, about it i don't know that game i don't yeah. i haven't played a ton of board games darcy would no. be a good one for that maybe he knows it i mentioned it on the show he didn't he didn't say know. anything didn't about recognize it, it? Yeah. Okay. i yeah. think it is an older game like the 80s oh i see okay. or the 90s yeah, probably okay. 80s since this is our crowd yeah. <laughs> they'll be recreating things that they know from the 80s it's possible yeah, yeah. Uh, so, tons of stuff. So mm -hmm. much stuff coming up. Mm -hmm. And doing the interview the other day was a lot of fun. So oh, maybe good. we'll do another one in the future yeah. if for an interview for yeah. or even a spotlight. Yeah. Oh, actually, uh, as well, uh, Atari 2600's 45th bi birthday marathon, which we'll be doing yes. in the after darks. Yes. Because that will completely disrupt the yeah. normal flow of homebrew if we do it during normal shows. Mm -hmm. um so that's like 400 games that we'll be playing through <laughs> probably three or four minutes each just blazing through them one after the other in release order going from 70s mm -hmm. to 92 77 to 92 uh so from 77 to 80 it'll all be atari yeah because there was no third party yeah. until activision very true started releasing theirs yeah and i think it was 1980 was the first one it was like derby fishing or something gotcha very simple early activision games so that'll be crazy mm. um but i still need to find a good resource i'll ask the atari age forums a good resource for chronological release order i know some of them are just going to be like october <laughs> it's true or even like <laughs> there, 1981 got to be we don't know what release. month yeah there's going to be some info place. Yeah, yeah some info yeah. somewhere Charles Whelan went, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Vectrex Day, Multiplayer Marathon, um, and ZPH, the game, 
and that'll be yes we well. are going to do that yeah yeah um but we have stuff to do before that so interesting how many years it was out before it really hit its stride yeah it was out for a number of years before anybody really paid attention to it yeah um till like was it space invaders or asteroids whichever came first that was like oh that's okay we gotta buy it now yeah it's got that, space that's invaders amazing game. it's got asteroids yeah. yeah it was one of those two that really pushed it over the edge to everyone buying it mm. yeah because those were like oh i could play it at home and i don't need to put quarters in yeah. i just buy the system in the game and yeah. i can invite people over and i'm sure they're like oh pong oh <laughs> yeah i can get pong on so many mm, different games pong. yeah but they didn't mm. release they released combat first which no is but a, i'm joking i'm yeah. joking <laughs> it's like it's they the did, same pong game oh. they did release video olympics which is pong 50 variations of pong. yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's got some good ones in it. yeah I'm not, uh, trying to, I'm not trying to, you know, shoot down Pong. <laughs> Pong's fine. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for a, an early game, like yeah. when it first came out. Um, did we show all the good photos? I think we did. Yeah. Unless people want to see cats, but... Uh, want to see cats? No. <laughs> You so, didn't know this After Dark was our um, Maui our trip. Maui slide show. We didn't actually <laughs> even talk much about our Maui. We'll talk more on Tuesday. Yeah. About more of our Maui adventures. Uh, yes. But we, we took, um, we saw a bunch of cats there. So we started taking photos of the cats and we called it Cats of Miaui. Yeah, the Miauis. The Miauis, because yeah. they were on Maui. Um, so there's a nice white and... <laughs> and <laughs> Should just do a, a twitch stream of cats of cat photos cats we've taken <laughs> photos of stray cats we've taken photos of <laughs> yeah yep oh, oh. but it, they were they were a ton we were sort of in a row of where there were hotels and hand. resorts yeah that's a very nice black you know, and white cat they were nicely groomed black the and moment white they cats. realize you don't have food in your hand like, they immediately turn away from you they have so many options for yeah food. they do they do there's a nice fluffy orange <laughs> cat orange and white cat he was nonplussed. Yeah. I was like, come here. And he's like, no, 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 I you know, don't. I, no. I know you don't have food. There's one that had definitely wanted nothing to do with us. Oh, he was hissing at people. He actually yeah. almost, he hissed and almost bit a small <laughs> child. And I'm like, yes. yeah, you got to stay away from that guy. Yeah. He looks rough. He, looks, he does look rough. He's from the rough side of the bush. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they're strays. These they're are just strays. strays. They're tons of strays by the the. the because boardwalk there's, where because the there's lizards was. there's tons of birds yeah and there's a restaurant we actually saw right there one in the eat background. a chameleon as we were walking by he just went <coughs> yeah chewing yep. one up i'm sure they get well fed oh, oh uh, that, that well, was might as well show it's on yeah. there <laughs> and and the palm trees yeah. and the palm trees that's yeah. our balcony yeah it was nice so, it was a very, very nice trip nice relaxing trip so. yeah um yeah mm. so that's it our local eating places in emu what <sighs> aren't they huge and scary and dinosaur like <laughs> and they have huge claws and talons yeah stay away from the emus mm. emu? emu emu emu, emu. Yeah. yeah don't mess with the emus they're yeah. huge I'll yes send you yes send, send us me a, pic. a pic we'll show it on the show <laughs> we want to see the emu <laughs> the I, local eating I place love, just I love hangs all the... around the flora and fauna and stray cats and whenever yeah. we go anywhere it's like oh it's a it's a it's a bird we've never seen before yeah. we get really excited yeah, we took a couple pictures of birds so. birds and different things yeah well thank you for hanging out with us yes. metal lunar and everybody Does else try to sell everyone insurance <laughs> uh, yeah we saw uh commercials on tv down there for the u.s so yeah. we saw that that advertisement yeah <laughs> um so thanks for hanging out with us rc70 metal lunar 7 mm -hmm. andrew davy Charles Whelan. Um, uh, Dryerland 17. <laughs> Dryerland 17. Adam H. Uh, who else? Packrat BG. A cardboard box was in there. Trey Guy. Atari 2600 dude. A lot of people have popped in and out. Arena Foot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's late. RH79123. Super catchy name. Yeah. Uh, and their first time chatter. Yeah. Love it. Danny VC. And yeah. everybody else who was lurking. Yeah, thank you for joining us on this impromptu show. Impromptu late night. Yeah. yeah. Late for some or 11 o'clock here. Early for others. 2 a.m. on the East Coast. Is it 11? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. It's late. Yeah. Um, so that's it till Tuesday. So tune in Tuesday for we'll more exclusive games on yes. Zero Page Homebrew. Okay. See you next time. Bye. Bye bye.